Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. He's Jay. Hello. Happy <clears throat> Friday the motherfucking 13th. Wow, we're here. We're here and we're not... You know what I was going to say, but we're, whatever. It doesn't matter. We're not in Texas. Guess what, guys? I've been so horny for podcasts, I could stick my dick in a headphone. It's been forever Jesus since we've been doing Christ, a podcast. Man, but we're that's no, dark. For Friday the 13th, we thought we're going to celebrate with you sexual fuckers listening, I, I, the three of you, and we're going to have a good time right now. I'd personally, <clears throat> I'd personally prescribe you not to put your dick in anything tonight. I don't want to put my dick in anything. There's not going to be any ladies here, and I just would I said rather a headphone. there to be no dick in anything. They're going to be in your headphone. This, let's so, let, uh, this is the Dickless Podcast 101. So guess what? Friday the 13th rolled around. We've been doing nonstop the uh, Halloween yeah. videos that you guys hopefully have been in enjoying. Hours. Yeah, they, they've been a lot of work, guys. But we had a lot of good time doing them, and we, we see that the response is overwhelmingly been positive so we were glad that you guys are getting a kick out of it too so we thought on this glorious day of the 13th of the fridays mm -hmm. which is in october which fuck yeah thank you god for making that happen with the calendars or mother nature or buddha or whatever you believe in the stars aligned we thought that we would start you know we would just might as well rank the friday the 13th movies yeah you that's, know that's that's our spe that, that's basically our special thing for friday the 13th and here's the thing the whole purpose of this was initially going to be we were going to have all the friday the 13th out and then we we're going to rank them afterwards now i know what some of you guys are thinking right now and you're saying but 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 you're black <laughs> but you haven't you haven't mm. reviewed all the movies yet but here's the thing we have, we've not even got a chance to review black panther <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing like we we didn't you know, we reviewed these years ago, like in our in the very first Halloween Horror Month ever. We did the Fridays, the Jasons, and the Freddies. And this whole year, we thought our big idea was: it's been five years, almost six years, we've been doing this. Let's let's do the whole entire thing again and see how far we've come and whatever. And, and it's been great so far. But the the thing is, that's is, one of the coolest things, though, is revisiting stuff that we've done before. Because I know right. that uh, long term subscribers would know what we did back in the day. And it's not that we are ashamed of them or anything, but we've just you know heads and tails gone. On a little bit further than what we were, we yeah. figured we'll bring a new audience and a new, or, or, you know, the ones that are new at least get a chance to see us react to these these videos in, yeah. a, in a new, fresher way. Well, that's the Fresh thing and too. So clean, clean. That's the thing too. The first time we did this, it was just so you don't realize how much content it is you're putting out, and it was just like just bam, 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 review after review and all this shit. And this year we're doing them again, and it's like we even started early, and it kind of sneaks up on you because this year what we've been doing is we've been doing uh, Michael and uh, Loomis doing trailer reactions yeah. plus the videos, and like the videos. Mike. Michael, the, the when you do the reviews, like the, the review is one thing, and then yeah, the background you have that stuff set up, and then the editing behind the reviews it takes like those videos like take like two and a half to three hours to edit, and it's just like fuck. But uh, take a bow, well, Captain Stubing, because that's all that's all Mikey. Mikey does this the editing, so Mike's got all that on his shoulders. But take a bow, Captain Stubing, permission to come on I board. I haven't seen my kid in months. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. well, the, here's the thing about that though. The thing about that is that. What I wanted to do, what the idea was, every single day, every single day, trailer reaction plus review, trailer reaction review, and and the timeline's gotten a little fucked up, and that leads us to here where we are now. It's so kind of like a Michael Myers movie. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, we're going um, we're, we're tomorrow night on fr on the actual like we're filming this the night before the twelfth, um, but on the thirteenth we're actually going to Nashville, Tennessee, to see one of my favorite uh, bands, the the Menzingers, and it's funny because they have a video. Uh, I think what I think is one of their biggest songs is actually a, a pair video of Jason. It's called I Don't Want to Be an Asshole Anymore. So you definitely got to check that out if you don't. But we're going, but, we're, uh, we're driving up. Jason to, doesn't, all, he doesn't care about being an asshole. Well, and he this, got drowned in the lakes. <laughs> His this, shit's got all fucked up. But but their whole <laughs> idea, that, that that whole song is a parody of Jason or whatever, But which is basically what we do with Michael and all this stuff. Yeah. But the thing is, is we're, we're driving up to Nashville tomorrow to celebrate that day, uh, to celebrate Friday the 13th and watch that band play. Isn't but, it cool that there's a few people out there that actually will celebrate the Friday, you know, Friday the 13th when yeah. it happens? Especially if it's in October, when you get in October, Friday the 13th, how can you not celebrate it, you yeah. fucking sick Well, fucks? a lot of people because, you know, okay, so, are scared of it. Uh, why? Because it's Friday the 13th. Don't be it. scared. That's what that's where it all came from. Be I mean, Friday the 13th the is supposed to be bad luck. Like, it's a, yeah, it's, it's a know. bad you know, well, date or whatever. But for us, you know, whatever. But, look, I've had a lot of bad dates, so I'll just embrace <laughs> it. But look, I, I'll, look, here's the thing. Uh, Friday the 13th is cool in the fact that, especially when it happens in October, I think it should be a goddamn holiday myself. I think that at that point, it should be no different than if you're celebrating Easter. Or fucking Valentine's Day. I mean, okay, maybe not Easter, but Valentine's Day is a corporate, it was a corporate created Hollywood. I mean, nobody cares really. I mean, I know that everybody loves out and goes to get chocolates and get their women or you guys fat. Care. It's a have to care. But holiday. the thing, you have to care. Yeah. But in this one, you should care because Friday the 13th represents, especially in October, it's October, the movies. 
The horror. We have a fr- the, the fall. Dude, we dude. have a we have a Friday the Thirteenth in October, and and and, and honestly, honestly, God, guys, when we thought about doing this, we didn't even realize that there was a Friday the Thirteenth in October. I know, just the week we were going to do it. Luck. So the whole goal, though, was actually to have all the Friday the Thirteenth reviews up by now, and then at the very end of that, to do a ranking. And I know what people are going to say as soon as this comes up in the comments. Uh, it's going to be like, but you guys haven't even finished reviewing them yet. And no, we haven't. But the thing is, is that like, I've been grind- we ain't time travelers. <laughs> I've been grinding as hard as possible to get these fucking things out for you guys. And I really wanted to have them all out before we did the ranking. But I also really, my want to do something special for Friday the 13th on the 13th superseded my need for the reviews to come out first. So yes, we still have Jason X to come. The review is still going to come in the coming days. We still have uh, uh, goes, uh, to, goes to Hell. We have No, um, Goes to Hell came out tonight. Uh, but oh, we, that's right. You know, we have Jason X, X. We have X. We have uh, uh, the remake, and we have Freddy versus Jason. Right. But and the, then we're going to go into the Freddy. Yeah, but you guys got to remember something. I know you guys, not all of you, but maybe some of you know that, or you think that you know. But um, when you're doing uh, YouTube videos, like some people have a lot of background help. I mean, the the bigger channels have a lot of background help. This is a two man show. Ain't no room for a third, bitch. So uh, in a two man show, it's it's a lot harder to get things out on time and in a timely fashion that you guys are. You know, we want. I mean, it, trust us. If if we didn't have jobs that fucking suck the tits off of us yeah. and and other things going on in our lives, this is you know our dream would be doing this full time and that's what we crank the shit out every fucking day but yeah. you know things get in the way and things happen so if we, we fall, if we fall behind a little bit off our schedule because Mike and I really did plan this out early we started in September really trying to plan out all this cool shit that we want to bring you guys for this yeah. month but you know sometimes life gets in the way and you can't really you know move past a certain obstacle yeah. but anyway we're still doing our best it's a two man show and I've, I just don't want you guys to feel like we, we're trying to not that we're trying, but that we're let. It sucks because we we don't want to let you guys down on anything. No, so I've been I've been running off of you know three to four hours of sleep and shit like that and work and the kids and school and or, well, not, I'm not in school. <laughs> in Thank school. God, <laughs> that's a waste of fucking money. <laughs> but you know, I, I'm not bitching about it at all. Like I love to do this. My my whole point the whole time is that that we've been doing this channel has been the same thing. Is like if if you guys weren't out there, literally, if you guys did not exist. The 16 people listening to this podcast. I said three and you said 16. Did it grow? <laughs> I know, I'm a, I'm a positive guy. But if no, no, in all, in all seriousness, if, if you guys weren't out there to listen to this, we we literally would have stopped. We, we would oh, have, yeah. But by force, by, by, by force, by life, by the way it goes, even though we love doing it, we, me and you would have still hung out, watched movies, yeah, talk we, shit about we movies. We just want to talk to everybody right. else. But, but, like, you know, we, we wouldn't have been able to, to, I wouldn't have been able to make up a reason to my wife and, and to work and to the lack of sleep I get to do this still. But because there's so many of you guys that 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 take the time to to go out of your to go out of your day because I know you guys are busy too and be like hey this means a lot to me I love this this made me laugh if it weren't for every single fucking one of you this wouldn't exist so this channel <laughs> is yours but uh, god damn getting deep I'm just Look, telling Maury you Povich, it's, I, it's the absolute you, you, and it's, it's not bullshit it's 1000% the fucking truth dude because it is if if I did not have you guys saying that you like this or commenting and, and, and speaking to us and telling us about it like it just would not have I just could not find the time to well, do it and I want to say really fast, I agree with all your sentiments um, with a box of chocolates for you for saying deep we things. We're going to fuck, Miss Parker. Well, deep things that you said. I do want to say also, though, that, um, yeah, man, uh, you guys have been awesome uh, through. Uh, and I want to also say the, about the 30,000. I mean, we are going to do a Q&A, okay? Yeah. That is going to happen. We are definitely going to do a Q&A. I know that people have asked us about it. We love doing them. I mean, we really do. I mean, it's great that you guys want to know us and ask us questions, and we'll you know we'll respond. It's going to be awesome. Um, it's just finding the time to do it. Uh, but I want to say also that you guys helped me through a lot of things. I mean, I, and I want to say because thirty thousand subscribers, man. And now we're gonna, I'm probably at thirty one, uh, hopefully soon. Um, you guys are fucking way beyond cool in my book uh, because I went through a lot of bad shit. And I mean, I don't I don't get heavy or serious on this because there's already like crazy heavy shit going on in the world and we want this place to as far as whim goes we want this to be a, a fun relaxing environment that everybody can have a good time in but you guys really helped me get through a lot of bad things and a lot of shitty things in my life and and you know i went through my divorce and i make fun of that slut bitch fucking cunt all the time because i don't <laughs> like her but uh it was a really hard and difficult uh part of my life and and going from there and where i am now it's been awesome it's been a great journey and i'm glad that you guys have stuck around and we've grown we've grown a lot and um so yeah i mean i don't know how else to, i don't i'm not gonna get 
you know emotional about it, but it's still a fucking great thing. So thank you guys. I want to say thank you guys so much for for uh, hanging in there, the the long termers and and the ones that have come around uh, recently. You guys are great. Uh, and and you know, I don't respond in comments that much, or, or I really I mean at all Ever. lately. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, or Twitter, I'm sorry, uh, or Instagram. But um, I read all your guys' comments, and I and I mean, you guys are are fucking. You're the bomb, the bomb, bomb. I had somebody say the other day, they're like, I miss when Mike used to respond to all the comments. And you know what's glorious about that is, and I, I used to tell you this all the time. I'm like, man. I I can't wait till we get to a point where I literally can't. I know you said that like, for fucking ever. Yeah, ago. I said that years ago. I was yeah. like, I can't wait till we get to a point where so many people are, are enjoying this shit with us that I literally just cannot respond to everybody. And that you know what that that's actually happened. Like I still plan even this month. I feel fucking. I feel like dog shit, man. I feel terrible because we're putting out all this content, we're putting out this editing, and we're putting out this shit like that, and, and it's like. I can't respond to the. Com- I literally cannot squeeze out the time of my day to respond to squeeze. all the comments that I squeeze. <laughs> but I'm doing. I'm doing it as I go. Squeeze. I'm doing it as I can. But I absolutely do. Like um, it might sound like bullshit, but the fact of the matter is, it's just like you said. Even every single mm-hmm. one of your comments that I haven't like responded to, I've read every single one of them yeah. for sure. And I fully plan on going back and finding the goddamn time somewhere to respond to every none single of, fucking none, one of you. But none of you guys get ignored. None of you guys like. None I see you. every I see every single one of them, yeah. man. And, and, and that, that's the thing about this, man, is that we're not big. And actually, what's fucked up is that our channel is more successful views and comments and shit wise than it's ever been before. And we're making when you talk about when you talk about monetary gains or whatever because we're of not the, making dick because of the YouTube adpocalypse and shit like that. One, two, three years ago, we were making triple what we are now because YouTube blocks all of our monetary. Like, there's no they hate our ass. At one out of every six videos, maybe it's monetized or whatever. And and you know what? We'll we'll fig- my this is my. I'm just gonna be fucking honest. I'm not gonna lie to you guys about it. My goal is what I want to do is I want to make this. You're gonna be a woman. So yeah, I want to <laughs> I want to get a go get them. Tits. I want to get me a vagine. In the vagini. And then tell everybody about it. But no, more, what I want to do is let, let's make this fucking let's make this man wham community so goddamn big and so fucking huge that when the pendulum swings back and everybody's tired of the PC the shit PC, yeah. and, and they're tired of YouTube for like because let's be honest. For the next whatever amount of time, the only people yeah. who are going to join YouTube are going to go after it. They're going to be clean, and and I understand like that. I, I totally get that. They're going to be clean. They're going to be. They you know, their, they're they're going to they make sure. Shit, yeah, yeah. They're going to make sure that they get their monetary. They cut their it. nuts off to but make you know sure what? content is ex, uh, acceptable. Yeah, and, and right now we're we're out of uh, feng shui. We're not the popular kind of people. Like everybody's about well, being PC and being clean and stuff like that. And YouTube's accepting <laughs> that, and that's what people want. But the pendulum's going to fucking swing back. And, so. and the way I feel is that eventually this is just me being honest i feel like eventually tell pe- me my dude people are gonna want some just straight up real fucking shit like that just just real a couple talk. dudes talking and they're not afraid to say fuck shit cunt bitch balls sack what mark, else can you wiener, bring feels like gravy Myers. fucking whores gravy yeah <laughs> uh, but look, and, and, and i and i and you know i think that's gonna come back to us look, and eventually we'll, we'll you know we'll make our money fucking elsewhere on the ads and all that shit like that and and the whole goal is to just be able to the, and this is the literal goal i don't want to i don't want to be fucking like a millionaire or rich or be fucking logan paul or whoever the hell on youtube logan what paul. i want to do <laughs> i don't, just name name. I don't even know who that name. is what I want to do, You're a bad though, neighbor. my whole goal, man, what I really want to do is I want to be the fucking, if you guys listen to sports and shit like that, I want to be the Dan Patrick show. Like, I want to take my friends and hang out with them in a place where we can do this for a living and bring joy and comedy to everybody and just enjoy this community together. My whole goal is just to be able to do this for a living, not to make millions of dollars. I don't want to be, I literally don't want to be famous, you know, and not, not that that's ever going to happen. I'm not saying that I think it is, but I just want to make a living doing what I love so that I can show my kids if they put in the work and try hard enough and fight hard enough and scratch and claw against everybody from day one, five fucking years ago, telling us that this was stupid and we were children and we're 30 years old and this is dumb and and show I'm not 30 them, and show them yeah, you're way past <laughs> and show them that like when the whole world tells you you're a fucking asshole because you're not doing what the rest of the world's doing if you really love it and you fight for it and you scratch for it and you claw for it, i mean you really have to if you have the fucking audacity to believe that you can make a living doing what you love then you really have to put in the work to do it. If I can prove that to them and just at some point in my life making a living doing what I love, then my whole entire life will be a success and that's my entire goddamn goal. So that's just that. That's the fucking well, truth. Well, you know, that's the absolute truth. I, I, the, the first thing that comes to my mind with everything you said, which I agree with, but I also want to know if you have a self-help tape out at Barnes & Noble yet. You know what? 
Fuck you, man. Maybe one day. But uh, I also agree. Uh, Fuck you. We're not making any money doing this at this point. You know, we're doing this because we love doing it. And like we have mentioned before, you guys are the reason why we keep doing it. And we love you guys. We think you guys are awesome. You know, the comments and the, and the feedback and the criticisms even... Some of you guys are fucking douchebags that 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 you know. Have, not you guys. <laughs> not you guys, but there there have been assholes out there that, that'll just be. But you know, you're not making it till you have haters, and it's, at that point, I'm like, yeah, you know, it's fucking cool. But uh, yeah, we're not doing this for any kind of reward in an afterlife somewhere. We're doing this because it's it's something that we actually enjoy. I mean, we're two best friends that hang out, that talk about movies, that like you know making each other laugh, and that we are fucking enthralled with the fact that you guys find what we think the stupid shit, the dumb ass shit that we think is funny that we would film like the skits and parodies that we do that you guys think it's just as funny and uh, we're really appreciative man like I never uh, thought that it would get to this point uh, as far as like I thought that Mike and I could do a pretty good run at YouTube but I, I figured maybe you know it'll be good but then I thought maybe it might not and we're gonna you know kind of fade away but you guys have kept that dream alive and um Right now, like you mentioned, the pendulum swinging with YouTube and all that stuff. Look, we're not saying anything. You know, Mike said it, but you know, we're not saying anything's wrong with people changing their content up and and they no, and, and, and they want to they, yeah. they want to suck YouTube's dick. That's fine. Everybody got to suck dick if they got to get ahead sometimes. I, I wouldn't I say get it that. that harshly. I just, well, I mean, I, I, I got to be real, and I'm just being real about it. I mean, I'm not saying that you know you got to. It's do, a smart play. It's what it's, you should it's do. smart play. But if someone asked me, should should I be like you or should I be like other people and try to be clean and make clean, fresh content and do what the, I'd be like, do what they're doing because we're, 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 we're yeah. We're but I would say, do you want to be? Do you want to be? Genuine, or you be disingenuous. If you want to be genuine and actually bring content to people that this is how you really are, and they're enjoying you for yeah. you, then be yourself. Yeah. Be be exactly what YouTube was meant to be, which is people coming on to, on the, onto the stage and just being yourself. If you want to be disingenuous and make the dollar, then be fake. It's not even and, totally uh, to me. It's not even being disingenuous. It's just being like, hey, I, I got to make money off of this, so I can't say fucking shit and cunt and and do. But what, I, I, I either way, doing if, what you, have you don't to do. have. I mean, we don't even. We don't even. We don't curse like. We don't uh, curse like on purpose, like because well, we think it's fun. We we curse. I, I literally. I don't. Even, talk. It's just how we talk. It's not even. A, it's not even a thing that yeah. in our brains that work in a way, and we're not wired that way. Just be like, mm -hmm. okay, well, um, we're saying these words because it's going to get attention. Yeah. I mean, it's just this is. We grew up this way. I mean, we we grew up in the nineties. And, you know, back then, you would say, I can't fucking believe that fucking bitch, you know, whatever, yeah. assigned me a little homework. And that was just the way it was. And I think that people appreciate it a lot more than we think, you know, because... Oh, dude, there's no, there's no doubt. Because they talk like that. There's, Everybody talks like that. There's no fucking doubt on this planet Earth, dude, that if you and I, two, three years ago, had decided to be clean and, and try to make, try to go towards the effects and the editing and more towards what other people are doing... In this genre, in this, in, in the whole movie industry, there's no doubt we've 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 turned people off. We've sent people away. There's thousands oh, of people. There's thousands people. of people that clicked on our videos and in two seconds said, "Fuck these guys! I'm not going to do that." There's thousands of chances we probably had to make a little bit of money, and they thought, "I can't market these guys. These guys aren't advertiser friendly, whatever." And yeah. you know, we've we but but, but go get Kim Kardashian. It's worth it. It's I heard me, she's open. To, to, to me, to me, it's worth it, man. And we've gone too far into this subject now because we're just the whole point of us do, being here right now is we're going to rank the Friday the Thirteenth. Let's movies. do that. But I do just want to say um, that um, you know this is this is just. This is the fucking truth. Like this is what we're doing here. This is how it is. This is this is all of it. And I appreciate every single fucking one of you. And uh, if we get there, it's going to be because of you guys. And that's what I'm saying. Uh, and my closing thing would be just to say uh, I'm with Mike. I I would love to do this for the rest of my life, doing videos and podcasting for you guys all night long. Uh, and it would be great. It would be an amazing um, dream come true. I, I mean, but again, you know, Mike and I aren't like. We're not dreamers enough to think that, oh, well, we'll just quit our jobs and go do this full time and, and do all this other. No, I mean, we have jobs and, and we're doing our best and we're doing this on our side time and, and every fucking spare minute that we can get to make and bring you guys some good stuff, we're going to do that. And you know what? I, I wholly realize, too, that there's 
there is a fuck ton of people out there right now who are putting in just as much work as I am, who are who are breaking their backs and that they, they're getting 150 views on their videos. And and to you guys, if you're listening to this and you're doing that, I want you to know that just I I, I respect the shit out of you. I, I know how it is to have your entire family and everybody who looks at you think you're a fucking idiot and think you have no idea what you're talking about. Like I don't like uh, I can't really. I can't come out and say all the shit like that that's happened over the years that we've been doing this for me because it was just personal there's, issues, there's yeah. personal shit and stuff like that. Yeah. But I've I you know, and I can say and you know, I know. I've given yeah. a chunk of my fucking heart and soul to this and I've right. lost a lot just based on the fact that I was just trying to be myself and well, do this. Yeah. And, and 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 I just want you guys to know if you're someone that's doing this um it's okay. It's okay if you don't want to do it, and and you want to and you want to buy into just doing what's what's accepted. But if if you want to go this route, I just want you to know, it, it may never do what you want it to do, and it may. But at the, but at the end of the day, I, I understand it and I respect it, and I and I know how fucking hard it is, and 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 just. I know it's fucking hard. Like for all of you that are listening to us, that are putting in just as much work as we are, I just want you to know that at least we know how fucking no, hard it alone. is. You're not alone. You're, you may be doing a YouTube channel that's getting twelve fucking views. You just gotta keep going, uh, or, or doing whatever it is you're doing in your life, whether it's YouTube or whatever, and nobody fucking believes in. But you. we were fucking pumped to get twelve views, dude. We got twenty goddamn. I'll views. I'll never we, forget getting forty subscribers. I know we were thinking, fucking holy shit. I know you know? we thought we were like the you know the uh, bee's knees, but look. There, yeah. there, you're not, you're not, you're not alone, and there, there's um, the, the it, it, it's a hard fucking, it's, it's a, a, it's a hard, hard, it's a hard road, it's a hard, road. Road. It's it's a a hard road. hill to climb up, man, and um, fuck, it, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll, yes. and you know, the thing is, uh, respect yeah. to you for for doing what you love, and that's all I can yeah. say. Uh, you know, there are a lot of times that Mike and I could have. We could have fucking thrown in the towel. I mean, Mike and I fought. I mean, we fuck. We're best friends. We've been best friends over twenty years. We fucking yep. fought. We fucking yelled at each other. We've done stupid shit, and and there's things that we've sacrificed that that uh, you know it's it, it is what it is. But you know, we like doing this. And if you like doing so, if you're passionate about it and you keep trying, yeah, you might fucking fail, and maybe it won't work out exactly the way that you planned it. You know, in a little memo or a notebook or a diary to myself. But at least you tried. Nobody else did. Because that's the that's how you measure whether or not you made it, like, or not made it. Maybe just at least measure how you are stack up against everybody else. If you did something that you were gr- passionate about, that you dreamed about, and you fucking fail. At least you tried, and that's the main well, thing. I go back to this the same thing that I heard, and I promise we're going to get on with it in just a second. I'm sorry, guys, I do want to deep with you. I want to say this. Um, Jim Carrey had a quote when he was talking about like uh, at some college graduation, or whatever. And he said it perfectly. He was like, he was talking about his dad, and his dad did the serious thing, and, and he could have been a comedian, but he decided to work for corporate America or whatever it was. I can't remember exactly, but he ended up getting fired and failing at that. And his whole point was, you can fail at doing what you hate, so why not give it a shot at doing what you love? And that that is this channel to me. That that is that's what that's what Wham is. And I think that Wham can always be that way for everybody. I mean, yeah. you guys out there that that are listening, that maybe you don't even want to do your YouTube channel or or even do a YouTube. It doesn't have to be YouTube. It could be anything. It could be music. It could be acting. It could be writing. It could be journalism. It could be whatever you think mm-hmm. that you're you know whatever you're passionate about. And people are telling you like you're not going to ever make it. And fuck you. You yeah. you know you're going to be a factory worker. No, you say I'm going to give it a shot because you got one shot in life. You got one time to do anything that you love to do. Because again, guys, you don't get a fucking reset button. It's not Nintendo when you fucking fell <laughs> off the edge of the map. You get one shot, and at the end of the day, you, you get again no reset button. And this I mean, is coming either, from this is coming from two guys who have not made it. No, we're not made it. We not. I'm not saying that we're, we're not a million subscribers or anything. We're just we we've got a great. I mean, and I'm blessed, and I, I'm I'm really happy, and I'm fucking, and I know we're lucky to even have what we have. This is just guys at you know the bottom tier level telling the people out there that are listening that are trying to maybe make it in whatever they're doing, whether it be YouTube or whether it be anything else in their life that people are doubting them, telling me you're not going to do it if you're passionate about it and you love it. Just keep fucking driving. Keep going, man. Don't 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 sell out and listen to all the other haters and the bullshitters because that's what they are, man. These are the people that fucking failed at what they wanted to do, and then they fucking dog down everybody else because they think that if I can't do it, you can't do it. So whatever I can do, I can do better or whatever you know. Just you know the Annie song, but 
Anyway, let's get on to the Friday yeah, the 13th. This is the, la- the last, you know, the, the, we'll, we'll move on with it. I just want you guys to know that um, we, bare bones truth right now, the only reason we're able to continue to do this and to do this month, this the fucking voices you're hearing right now, is because so many of you decided to like us. No. Because we would have had no force, but we would have had no choice, no choice, but years ago, to give in to all the people who told us this was stupid. Yeah, if if there wasn't some response, yeah, we're not fucking huge, and now we're not making any money off of this, but the point is, is that I can at least, when someone tells me I'm a piece of shit and I'm wasting my fucking life, be like, this motherfucker said that I made his day better. Or I could right. say that, you know, these people give a shit, and, and this, what you're listening to would not be happen if it weren't for you so this is yours as much as it is ours and i the whole purpose of this is just to let you guys know that even though we've been busy and haven't been able to we're trying to make this month special and haven't been able to you know respond to every single comment or do the stuff that we usually do um uh, yeah, you're they, not, you're, you you're guys not are absolutely at the yeah. forefront of my mind through all of this, and I'm doing this for you guys and for ourselves. But I'm doing it. Be- the only reason I'm able to do it is because of you. And I want to say this: since since we spent a half an hour talking about this, and we didn't even plan on it, this was just off the cuff. Yeah, Let's was. go ahead and make this the first entry for the Q and A for the thirty thousand subscribers. Thank you guys. Fuck yeah! Comment down below with whatever question you have. We're gonna try to do something special and cool with the Q and A. I don't know what it's I gonna wanna be. I want to do something yet. really great. I think we should just be on underwear and eat. Buffalo wings. That's a, well, that's a show. <laughs> you know, I thought I, 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 I've been watching be that. Dirty. I've been watching that hot one show on uh, YouTube, and I thought it'd be funny as fuck, dude, if if we did that. Since we'll never be on that show, yeah. if we made some hot wings and made a bunch of hot sauces and answered answered uh, the uh, our friends' comments uh, while we ate them, just like they do in hot ones, I think that'd be fun that as fuck. Be so fun. comment down mm-hmm. below, guys, all your questions. This will be the first entry for the Q and A. That's I don't know exactly when it's going to come, but it's going to come. So all right, let's move on. The ranking all the Friday thirteenth right, again. I know that we haven't had all the reviews come up yet but we have watched them all and we have filmed all the reviews yet they just haven't been edited do you think that we're like giving it away though no it'll be fine we've, we've reviewed all the films before, I know but so, I, okay. so here's the thing like, about it. the whole purpose of the start that whole 30 minutes that we opened with was was just to say I know that all the reviews aren't out for Friday the 13th but we wanted to put out something special amidst as how busy we are for this moment, momentous but big big Mentos. Big, big occasion of it being Friday the 13th in October. So here it is. We're going to go ahead and rank the movies, even though we haven't released all Let's the reviews for them. But we have watched them, and we have filmed them. They're done. They just got to be edited and put out. So, put all right. Bitch up. And we're going we're gonna to make the list live. Like, this is yeah. going to be... We're going to make the list together. We've written out the movies. Now, let's talk... Yeah, Jay, but we haven't talked about this yet. What is... We're going to go from bottom to top. No. Worst to best. You got to go top to bottom. No, you can't go top. That's fucking... What's the fucking in fun sex, in that? You got to go top to bottom. No. You got to go worst to best. So <laughs> okay. In the asshole. The, let's... let's uh, what's the worst? The, the, the worst... Reason, okay. Oh, let, let's, this well, no, no. Let's go, th- let's go through okay. them. Let's the go worst. through You're going the, the worst. Let, okay. uh, piece the worst. by piece. The, the original, not no, the worst. No. Part two, no. old oh, baghead. Not no, the worst. Fuck no. Not the worst. Part three, three D. Mm, no. Not the worst. No, fuck them. Uh, final chapter, definitely not the no. worst. New beginning, not no. the worst. Jason lives, no. definitely not the worst. New blood, not the worst. Manhattan, Ooh. honorable mention. You're getting sicky we're right gonna, now. We're gonna take Jason takes Manhattan. We've just gotten we're to the hold fucking it. tuberculosis we're gonna, era. We're gonna put it into holding pattern. Okay. Now next movie we got is Jason goes to hell. Now beat, we're in the fucking beats Manhattan. We have a new we're front runner. C. We have a new front runner. <laughs> Jason goes to hell right now is the front runner with yeah. two films to go. Jason goes to hell versus Jason X. I'm I choose hell. I'm going hell. It's worse. It's, it's worse. hell's worse than Jason goes to hell versus the remake. Nope. Hell. Definitely hell. hell. The worst automatically from the get, motherfucker. God. I feel the it. worst goddamn Friday the Thirteenth entry that has ever existed on planet Earth is fucking Jason Let goes me, to hell. Listen to this, guys. The only way that Jason can exist is when you bite his fucking heart. It's not even Valentine's Day, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that. Okay. So the he's idea, not even in the movie. He's the only one out there for two weeks. Like the idea behind it might have been solid, I think, with the CIA showing up. The, the beginning is cool. The like, ending's the, cool. The, the beginning and the ending is one of the greatest endings to a horror uh, franchise, really. At the you know with the Freddy hand coming out and taking Jason's mask to hell. But the problem with this movie is that you don't get Jason really at all. You get him at the beginning and you get him at the end. But the, if you put it together, you, you you might be getting maybe a total of thirty minutes with Jason with an hour and thirty plus movie. Otherwise, all you have is people eating fucking hearts in a goddamn backward town. People, you know, a little short dude with a big-ass woman that runs her mouth a lot. 
in a diner, and then this guy got she this was girl a good broker though. You she, gotta give it to her. I loved her. her. No, Jason she, Patties, yeah, she two was for good. one. That was genius. You get cool death scenes, but they're not committed by Jason. It is committed, quote unquote, by Jason, but not really by Jason. And there are cool nods to other films like the, you know Evil Dead with the Necronomicon and 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 you know them saying the Myers House, but. Honestly, dude, it was a lazy attempt to do something cool with it. I think not a lazy attempt, but the execution of that attempt was yeah. fucked up. Because I'm saying you made you made Jason basically a heart transplant fucking person. Like yeah. you, you got to transplant my heart to my mom's or my sister's vagina, <laughs> like, and I can be born again. What the fuck are you talking about? So all the lore that went before it, Jason was the only. Ch- he was he was. What the hell are you talking about? You, you're saying that Jason had sisters and he had... Oh, my God. Dude, terrible movie. Terrible movie. I'm sorry. I know that there are fans out there of it. The Mask was cool. I like The Mask. I didn't even like The Mask. But I like, the way he I, looked. He looked like lumpy mashed potatoes. Like I, someone well, just shoved a mask like, here you go. You know, sometimes lumpy mashed potatoes are what you're in the mood for. But I, 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 think, I think it was funny when he was reborn, the mask was still attached to his face. Yeah. Like It's like part of him. Yeah, <laughs> so, the whole movie makes no fucking so, sense. It's batshit crazy yeah. weird. And you know what, though? It had really cool marketing. Jason Goes to Hell. Badass title, right? That's going to get your attention. The, the cover of the movie just looked fucking cool. If you didn't know what it was and you're in a, a, a rental store, you're like, I want to watch that one. Jason it, because the mask Cool, badass. But the problem is, the number one problem is, On the is Jason's not in the fucking movie. He's in the beginning and the end, and those are the co- two cool parts. I always relate this to Halloween Resurrection, because Halloween Resurrection had such a cool opening with the whole Jamie scene, or Laurie Strode scene in the beginning, and then it went to dark, dark shit. This one started out pretty cool, and, and the very last shot is one of the coolest shots in the it's entire like, franchise. It's kind of like taking a painful shit where it kind of feels good at first, but you got right. more up there, yeah. and you can't get it out. Yeah, but the very last shot, you actually see one of the coolest scenes in the entire franchise inside of a Cadbury egg of the worst fucking movie where where Jason goes to hell and you see Freddy's glove come up which that, is the yeah. whole point of the movie for New Line and it pulls him down that's amazing and the cover's amazing and the marketing's uh, well, amazing and the movie's dark shit and Fangoria said it they said you know they said it the best I think it was on the on the cover of uh, you know the original VHS box the, the greatest ending to horror movie franchise ever and that was Fangoria yeah and Fangoria I mean because look I mean you uh, New Line had just got it, and, and they didn't know what to do with it. Gets the people going. So yeah, they didn't know what to do. I mean, but they did what they did, and look, our clear worst. It's just it's a bad movie. It's a bad movie in the Jason series. It's an easy decision to make. The worst Jason movie of all time is Mark it Jason out. Goes yeah. to Hell because he it's to barely hell. even a fucking Jason movie. So here we go. Okay, we got number one. Nope. We got the worst. What is the second worst? I, I mean, mean, I already know where I'm let's going. Let's go back. The you know what? You're right. Yeah, um, I already know. Well, hang going. on. Let me let me take a take a quick breath here. Take a uh, breath. Let me take a winner. breath. Um, let me look at it. Let me look at it. Let me look at it. Yeah, it's um, dude. No, it's actually, not. Don't I even fucking think say it. About don't even this. think about it. It's not thinking. It's Manhattan. It's Manhattan. Yeah, yeah it's, it's fucking Manhattan. Manhattan. That movie promised. No, actually, I can't even say it promised. And that's why it almost stole number one shit movie because I don't think it no no but well hell at least had Jason I mean considerable it, mentions it didn't have like no but it didn't have Jason going to a big fucking city and being on Times Square and walking down I mean there were funny moments in Manhattan and it was it was obviously uh, uh, you know a poking fun at the eighties. But it was it was so fucking stupid, dude. I mean, you were literally taking Jason, a Crystal Lake killer, from the woods and putting him in the big city. I mean, hell, I want to take the bite out of the Big Apple too. I'd never been, but I mean, you're putting Jason, you're putting my dude in fucking Manhattan. Why are you doing that? Why why would you even think that? Why on earth in a boardroom meeting with everybody coming oh, it's in a great there idea. with script? No, it's not. It's, it's a terrible. Great idea. It's a terrible. Dude, if the, if the if the entire movie was actually him in Manhattan and the batshit that would come from that, it'd be great. If you had an idea that actually got him there, that made sense. Well, that's my point. Like the 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 the, the idea itself is cool, Mm-mm. but they they weren't able to envision it because it just they, looked like they were selling Coca Cola products. They didn't have the money to actually keep him in. Like the the few shots of him actually in Manhattan are amazing. They're cool They're as fuck. Badass. Those are one of the if best. The whole movie it persisted and it existed of that. It'd be cool. I don't know, man, because I think that's a good the, idea. I think in small segments, it'd be cool for like Universal Studios introducing Friday the Thirteenth in Manhattan now, at this point. In the franchise I mean no it, but it, if you have him because it doesn't make sense it's like saying okay well I, I got a good idea about uh, Michael Myers let's put his ass in Kentucky hey, like it, it would be it's weird just crazy enough in my work I honestly think that if this movie if this movie was done by the people who made Jason Lives 
if this movie was done by the people who knew tongue in cheek and could understand satire, and 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 a couple of the scenes in this movie did, but if if they had the budget and they had the people who made that movie do this, I think this would have been one of the it's, better entries in the actually, entire franchise. The only way that it would have worked is if you're going to go not with, I would go with the people that did the uh, New Beginning. Because at least it wasn't Jason Voorhees. No, no, no. The whole point is that like like Jason Lives was kind of funny and it was kind of tongue in cheek, and they did that a little bit. The moments when they when they did that with Manhattan, it was it was great. No, when he I'm takes not... off his mask in front of those dudes, and they're like, "Oh fuck!" and he kicks their boombox. That was over. fun. No, it's hilarious, and it was more like just celebrating the '80s lifestyle. But I'm saying that the uh, the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying is because at least in a New Beginning, they were trying to do. A, it's not Jason Voorhees. It's not. The, the Crystal Lake Killer because you gotta keep you gotta keep the setting of your story well, alive you, you gotta keep a, what they are what well, they are you needed a whole different reason for him to be in Manhattan like this movie failed wholly at that but if you if you came up with a good reason if you came up with a good reason and a good storyline to get him into Manhattan and then you made that whole movie tongue in cheek it could have been one of the well funnier. they failed on all their it shits been, yeah, yeah they failed on it but it could have been great but in this one the main problem with it is is that he, he's in a fucking lake and he gets on a boat and all of a and sudden it it, to, it's in the yeah. ocean and it goes <laughs> it's gonna go ahead in Manhattan it doesn't make I think that the beginning I think it says it all about you know again I wanna yeah, I wanna give a I wanna give a shout out to uh, Kane Hodder about how great he did even yeah. in the shitty movie like this even in Jason Goes to Hell he did awesome um, but the fact that he's like hanging on an anchor and he's like looking around when they're pulling him up it's yeah. just like, what the fuck am I doing here? Yeah. Like, I shouldn't be here. And then and uh, the main girl's terrible. Yeah, it's and just, her whole it, like, I'm imagining Jason as a little boy. And that her was visions, bad. And the, they tried to do that H six thing, even though that was later. It just, it was terrible, uh, dude. Uh, it could have been great. It could have been. It could have been unique. I and suppose. They spent, but uh, they spent seventy five percent of the movie on a fucking yacht on a fucking cruise ship that nobody gave a shit about. And the uh, there was a couple good kills, but like, you only got Jason in Manhattan for like ten minutes and. Those shots were fucking glorious. Can we? Can you motherfuckers wait till like, uh, like I don't know, New Year's, so we could have like him fucking slicing people's ass, waiting for 1987? <laughs> like, it would The whole problem is, is that that ten uh, percent of the movie, the ten percent of the movie was actually Jason takes Manhattan, and ninety percent of it was Jason on a boat that he had no business being on, and some boring ass. I will kills. say one good thing about it: the marketing of it. We watched that trailer. Yeah, the trailer. Oh, the, I the, love in why. Yeah, with and, and then him just standing there, and then turning around. I mean, because anybody back in the day would have been fucking hyped about it. They would have been like, holy shit. That, great, that would have been great. It's a fun fucking idea, man. It's not quite crazy enough to where Jason goes to space or whatever, but it's just a different take on the franchise, and it could have been so cool, and it's so disappointing and boring. And it, it, there's there's some shining moments with him knocking off Julius's head and a couple good kills, like the guitar kill. But ultimately, and, and all, it really does feel like uh, Ninja Turtles New York to me when they mm. do this, but there's some really fun scenes in it, but ultimately it's Let's just... Go- Go for so it. fucking disappointing. So yeah, that's the second worst movie in the franchise. Um, okay, so let's go through. What is the third? Okay, worst so third worst film. So, um, Friday Thirteenth Part One, no. Part Two, no. Part Three, no. I don't, maybe. Part maybe. Three. Let's hold it up. Let, let's just let's hang it. We'll, let's, we'll, we'll, let's keep it in the. We'll put it on the, the tree, we'll and then we might take it down. Final chapter. Fuck no. Hell no. Um, new Ooh. beginning versus Part Three. Which one's worse? New beginning, dude. You 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 fucking Robin fans of what they act. I agree. Like, so new beginning, they new beginning what is, they act. New beginning is the <laughs> new beginning is the front runner. Uh, new beginning versus Jason Lives. New beginning's way worse. New beginning versus New Blood. I like New Blood better. I love New Blood better. Um, new beginning versus Jason X. This is uh, where this is it where it gets, gets weird. okay. So okay. So okay. 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 So um, wow, guys, we're in a fucking pickle because um. Mm. Man, new beginning. Okay, you know they're what? So different. You know what I gotta do? I gotta do this, man. I gotta do this. I gotta roll the fucking Yahtzee and say Yahtzee. I gotta go with fucking X, man. I gotta yeah. go with X, yeah. even though I hate doing that because I fucking enjoyed X. I liked X a lot. I think it was so good, based on the fact that it, it, at that point it was yeah. fully making fun of themselves. It was a and funny they were, movie. It was having. We were having a good time. Jason gets a new suit. He got it from fucking goodies. And, and he was going to slice the mask but, up. But 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 New Beginning did, for all intensive purposes, even though it didn't end up being Jason, it still had that eighties. That's what I'm saying. It had the middle institution in the middle of the Buckwild I feel like Woods. We're, I feel like we're on the same length. Yeah, it's but hard. It's, man. Uh, it's hard. But I think that I think that to be fair, I think to be fair, we got to go with X, man. Well, and I don't want to X going to give it to let, you. Let, no, but, I'm not there yet. I'm not there right, yet. We got to. Let talk me about ask it. you this: We got to talk about last this. movie you're ever going to watch in your life. 
Which you, those two? you got a you got a six pack of beer. You got some Kroger popcorn. Because let me tell you guys something: Kroger popcorn is the shit. Fuck Pop Weaver and Orville Redenbacher's dick. That Ooh. Kroger popcorn is the shit. What kind of that what cheap what ass kind of beer? I got Kroger pop- yeah. What well, you got? Bud Light is your favorite. I got some good, some good. Fuck shit. your IPA. I got some Oktoberfest. Yeah, maybe I get Michelob Ultra. Oh, it's a big day for you. It's a big one. <laughs> that, I can't afford it. No more. That goddamn water beer. All right, so let me ask you this: last movie you can watch in your life. What's it going to be? Is it going to be Jason X or is it going to be fucking uh, New, New Beginning? beginning? <laughs> What's it gonna be? Uh, the last movie between those two. Holy fuck, dude! Why you? Why you give him the is it ones? It's tough. Uh, you know what? Honestly, though, um, I gotta say, if I had to watch, yeah, between those two, I would go with New Beginning. Just because the '80s nostalgic feel that was still there, yeah. even though the movie's fucking terrible, yeah. as far as it's not being the Jason that I wanted, but it's the Jason that we needed. But Jason X is going to give you those laughs. No, but listen, it's not the Jason I wanted, but it's the Jason I needed because he's in an atmosphere. He's actually in a real atmosphere that Jason can exist in, mm. and he's doing work. But aren't you going to be more entertained by Jason? I X? would love Jason X, but I would say it's fucking false yeah. because Jason X is not real. In All a right. way, I would even I would even say Jason X is not even canon. Because it's so one shot anyway. Yeah, but you know it's what I mean. That shit. It's so fucking I'm gonna fun. Go there with you. Okay, Jason X is the third worst yeah. movie. Yeah, but in the I franchise. don't even want to talk dog shit about I don't it. Either, because I like I, it. The but... only dog shit I can say about it is the fact that at this point we're bo- like, we're off the we're like, off the rails, it's man. It's like a soft core Skinamax version of Jason. Yeah, like, we're in it's, Cinemax. It's porn. We're in Cinemax. It's porn. Like it almost yeah, maybe I should have canceled my. I love it. I love it, but it's shit. I love it, but it's shit. So yeah. So but. So I yeah, Jason X is the third worst movie. But, and I, mean, I think I, easily we I, have oh God. Dude. We, I, 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 I know, know, but I'm, 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 I'm having a buyer's regret okay. right now. I'm having buyer's regret because my nut hurts. I'm with you. But dope. listen, we're not saying it sucks. Like not a. I like it, okay, but we put it on our back. Like we're on the third sucky part. Yeah. But look, I feel look, good about this franchise. Like this I is do. a hard list. To it's make. a hard list. But Jason, even X, the shit smells good. Yeah, it's that good. Sp- it's it's, a, it's that hangover when fart. They, when they it's eat that the hot egg no, fart, but it it's, never smells. No, good. it's it's a hot egg fart, but it's your hot egg fart. That's good. Yeah, it's not that yeah. bad. It's like it's like that old fucking uh, fart. If Al could fucking put a helmet on his that head be, and suck up his own farts, that should be when they re-release the Blu-ray or the 4K collection of Jason. But like this collection's great. It's a hot egg fart, but it's your hot egg. Fart. You're all. Yeah, yeah, listen, I don't know what to do with those tossed salads and scrap. But smell them. They're calling their guy. Uh, listen, um, <laughs> when you have some hot egg farts and they're yours, you're just gonna spend, you're gonna you're gonna sit back there and like contemplate things while you're smelling them. You might do some math problems <laughs> and then go about your day. But look, Jason X, despite it being Jason X in space, and we know that sounds fucking stupid, we get it. We reviewed the whole fucking franchise. We understand. It sounds fucking dumb, but it was such a good time, man. It was it they they, they fully embraced the idiocy at that point of what it's the a, franchise had become. Yeah. And they were like, you know what? We don't have to tell a serious, serious story. We're just going to tell a good story. But you know, to be honest, they accidentally they accidentally stumbled on a good idea. Yeah. The fact that Jason was being studied in the Crystal Lake what? Research Facility at the very beginning of the movie, that was a cool idea. Yeah. And the fact that they were gonna, the Army was going to take him and kind of learn from his you know, regenerative powers, yeah. that was a good idea. And, but, you it, know, was just, it was so bad shit. It, it was just so beyond bad And when you fucked shit, your like, robot, you love that. Literally, I felt like we were on the set of fucking Orgasmo or the Original fr- or the original uh, Fantastic Four film that never actually got released. Oh like, yeah, it was just yeah. so bad. Like, I felt like we were on Future that one chick last episode. pinching that dude's nipples with like a fucking hot dog clamp. You pass. <laughs> <laughs> like I love it, but it's so fucking goddamn it garbage juice. I mean, you gotta look at it. You gotta. It's the best smelling garbage juice. Yeah, I know. Mike and I are fans of Friday the Thirteenth, but we're also trying to be like critical at the same time. Yeah. It'd be like just like you said, you walking by a taco stand that's been closed down for two years, yeah. but you're still gonna smell. No, no that's oh. it. That's it. It's going to Taco Bell and eating the worst taco you've ever yeah. eaten. Like someone farted on this fucking oh. taco. Someone <laughs> put farted on hole. this taco, but as soon as you get done eating it, some some big titty girl comes up to you and, and makes you drink a shot right, oh. right between her cleavage. Oh. And you're like, you know what? That was a great taco. Yeah, you won't even, forget about that little taco. That's Jason We're having X. a good time. That's, That's what Jason X. So a taco and a, and a stripper. Easily, the I mean, we've already said it, that the fourth worst film in the franchise is clearly New Beginning. A new beginning okay, because and so a, let's go back to New it's Beginning. Not, it's not even Jason. New Beginning, right? yeah. And like, like I said, you got, you got some good stuff about the, A New Beginning. You got... Um, Tommy coming back. I like that Tommy. I like that Tommy a lot, actually. 
uh, you know, Billy from the Power Rangers, you know, he has some downtime. He did this. Uh, <clears throat> you got, he could fight, and he's got some yeah. abs. And, and it, yeah, I wasn't worried about that. But he yeah. fucked people up. And it wasn't. It was yeah, that was cool. But it, and you know, the interactions between the the um, it was it was a reform school for kids that were troubled. Halfway house, the halfway yeah. house, and everything going on there. It was, it felt so eighties, like the chick that just never stopped dancing. She just loved dancing because that's what she did. Just give me a radio, and I will fucking live. <laughs> And that was the 80s, Psycho man. Psycho killer. And I, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to relate this to you guys as best as I can, but when you watch that movie, I mean, you got to take away the fact that Jason's fake, but it's such a good 80s horror slasher film. Yeah. If it wasn't called Jason, if it wasn't called Final Chapter of Friday the 13th, or, I mean, uh, New Beginning, it would have been just a cool slasher film. And you got to give you a know, nod to fucking um, um, Demon. Demon. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Bitch, you going to get it. Yeah. That guy, that was a great scene. I mean, there were so many cool scenes in that film oh, in of itself. And the, and the kid. Um, Reckless. Um, uh, Reckless Reggie. Reckless Reggie, okay. man. You scared of spiders? You scared of rubber spiders? You scared of rubber spiders on strings? Man, fuck your shit. I love that kid. That kid hey, was man, great. some action. And you know... The, I don't know, man. Like it's a great I, movie. I, I can't. I, I can't, hate it, but it's a great. I know movie. it's a, it's a bad movie because of the fact that it sold itself as being a Friday the Thirteenth yeah. film without having Jason Voorhees in it, except for the very beginning. And we do get some Corey Feldman in the very yeah. beginning of the movie, which is badass. But that was again a sucker punch to your nutsack because you know after that happens, you're not getting any more good Jason kills. But uh, kudos, I want to say kudos because the kills are pretty decent in it. Yeah. But I also want to say kudos to the director of the film because he even changed the mask of Jason with the blue. Yes. To kind of let you know, like, that you're being sneaky. fooled. You're being fooled. You well, underestimated you... the sneakiness. Will you be able to figure it out to Carmen San Diego before the time runs out? <laughs> well, in the world is Carmen, Carmen San Diego. Diego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I've watched that. Uh, a good show. <laughs> watch that shits. So. New beginning next yeah. after Jason. And I hate to do it. The, the more we talk about, it, the more I like it. You know, it's I know. hard. We can't go back. I gotta, you can't go backs. Ooh, you can't go right. backs. Let's take it. Let's take a. Let, I gotta pee. Really I bad. did too. Fuck all, right. all right. So guys, we're we'll gonna go take, take our breaks, and we're, we're gonna go kill Jason in the barn, and we'll be back. Six seconds. Here. Okay, so we're back <clears throat> from the darkness of beneath. That was a long <clears throat> pee. So much pee. It was like a it's not, sprinkle it's of goodness. Not, it's not like they waited in silence. It's been seven seconds. Well, you have to edit it, but there was a long time, and we both had to pee. <laughs> All right, so uh, what's the next movie, man? We, we, we've done Okay, so we've done... X um, is out, yeah. right? New Beginning is out. Um, what's the next worst? Okay, well, and we'll we're go, almost getting into the best. Like, okay, Start so. from the top. All right, out, As of, you out, out of the following, what is the worst okay. Friday the 13th movie Give me of that. all time? Give me that shit. There's the original? No. Versus part two. I don't want to get into that verses yet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's part three, which is worse than. Would you Would you agree that part three is worse than one and two? I think I would. I think part three takes the cake right now. Yeah, but dude. Okay. I, all right, all right. So, I don't know. so part three versus final chapter. Oh God. I part three is definitely worse than yeah, final chapter. Yeah, definitely. Part three versus, and the, part three is three D. Jason Friday Thirteenth three D versus Jason Lives. Jason Lives way better. Oh yeah. So part three versus New Blood. I like New Blood, motherfucker, and I know what you're gonna do because you don't like that telekinetic bullshit. And I don't. I know. No, 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 no. no. I, I don't like the telekinetic bullshit, but I will agree because of the because of the the last twenty minutes or so of New Blood, it's way better than part three. So okay. part three still lives. Um, part three versus last last um, last option mm. is the the remake, man. Mm -hmm. I think the remake's better. I do too. All right, so our next worst movie in the in the Friday the Thirteenth franchise is uh, Friday the Thirteenth Three D Part Three. And okay, he, it, I, I know people are gonna fucking hate this because look, it's the first time that Jason got his iconic mask from the hockey store from Dickies, and I, I mean <laughs> I understand and do I mean it really is it was a good solid movie in the Jason entry, but mm. stacking up with what we have left, it just can't do it. Apollo, you can't win. You can't win against Dolph Lundgren. You can't Lundgren. win, Rock. Um, look. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I love it. What I love about that movie, uh, Rocky IV, is when Adrian finally says, she's like, you can't win, Rock, and he's at the bottom of the stairs. He gives her that fucking look, and you see that look, that look. and it's like when you're about to eat the hottest hot wing of your life, you're like, mm. what? I can fucking do that. How much, Watch how, me. How much time do I have on the timer? Dude, Ten minutes? I, get so, I can do it. When I watch that, I get tears in my eyes. I'm like, fuck yeah, Rocky's going to do this shit. But part three, man... 
man, I don't know. It just felt it. It just felt like a, it's such a cheesy attempt to kill him off. Here's the thing, and, and, and we knew this. I mean, when you watch part three, when you watch part three, it just feels like they wanted to kill him. Half ass axe in the head. Yeah, yeah and the, well, and we got the iconic axe in the head, of course. And if it, you're gonna kill him, fucking split but, his dome. But that half. was but that was cool. I mean, again, you get the little axe mark yeah. in his in his Jason face for the rest of his uh, career, but <laughs> his career because uh, he's in the NBA and then he went to the WNBA. <laughs> but uh, no, but um, you have a. The, besides the mask being so iconic, the Jason mask finally showing up that everybody knows and loves. And there were some cool death scenes, and we we, we definitely got more into the 80s feel with the third movie. It just, there was something about it, man. And again, I go back to the half-assed attempt on certain things. I'm just like, you could have done so much more. You could have You could have explained things a little bit better. And I just... I don't know, man. I, I just never really got into it. Like, I, I don't know why. Like, why that is. Like, I thought that it was a cool-ass movie. I definitely thought it had its merits. But at the end of the day, we kind of took it in the butt. And, you know, you can take it in the butt sometimes, but when you're not expecting it, it sucks. And I didn't like it. Let me just be honest with you. I've never taken it in the butt. I haven't either. I was just saying that facetiously. But if you do, but, that's cool. Uh, anyhow, part well, three... I, 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 part three is iconic. Besides the mask... The barn scene. The barn scene is really cool. I mean, it really is. I mean, Jason gets fucked up in the barn scene. And he has that hanging thing and he takes his mask off. Like, Do you have pineapples? When he takes his mask off. Ugh. Yeah, he does that weird face and everything. Ugh. And uh, he, has that, he has the cool scenes like as far as like uh, the harpoon death. Yeah. That was cool. And that one chick with the butt cheeks. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. She had them nice butt Oh, my Lord. She had nice butt Great butt. stuff, my dudes. But... Um, it still felt half-assed, man. It just felt like they were trying to wind it up. It and with the 3D cash-in, I'm like... It was constant. Like, yeah. oh, I'm playing with a yo-yo. Oh, I'm doing juggling or whatever. But no, my favorite thing about Part 3... When I think about Part 3, obviously, you've got... It's it's the moment the Jason mask becomes a reality. Yeah. Don't chew that ice like that, because it's going to be loud. Oh, okay. I can't open Ice-chewing like son of a bitch. But here's the thing. Um, Sub-zero. Hey, you sound like you're sucking a water hose's dick full of rocks. <sighs> Stop. Mm. No, but um, my favorite part about um, part three is is the guy who played Jason. Like he's passed on; he, he's not with us anymore. But the guy did such a great job, and he's a small guy. But the the makeup and the effects that they did with him, he looked fucking huge. He was built to shit, and he was just <laughs> yeah. dude. It was it was Jason wearing basically a button up and some fucking jeans, and the dude had traps for days. It he was, was laundry fucking day. Fucking huge. He did a great job, and I think that's one of the most underrated Jasons or guys who played Jasons in in the whole history. He's a good. He was a good so. Jason. I did but, like. I did like but the yeah. way he stalked down well, bitches. Like he did a good job. Shelly Shelly was a character that like you, know, you liked but hated. That like, was yeah. I felt bad for him, but at the same time, it's like quit being so fucking self hating. Like I, yeah. it was a weird thing, but I and liked- I felt bad about the guy that played Shelly. Because, yeah. like, I know that a lot of people hated his death scene. You know, my It's not I, his fault. Like, yeah, it's not I his fault. I think he did okay. You know, I thought the guy, I thought the idea behind him was cool. I thought they could have built on the idea of having, like, a, a jokester, kind of, you know, out of shape dude being maybe one of the last survivors is a good idea, you know? Because yeah. it, it, it felt more like in line with what I would feel like a good slasher 80s film, especially involved with the Friday the 13th, is make that guy one of the last survivors because it would be a cool little nod to, to people. Because back in the 80s, everybody was always worried about, I'm, I'm going to play yo-yo and be awesome and drink fucking beer and suck titties, much like we do today. But uh, <laughs> it was more prominent, I felt so are like. Are talking about Wednesday night? Yeah, I was talking about Tuesday Trivia morning. Trivia night? I was talking about Tuesday At morning. our local tavern? Morning. Uh, but uh, I was, you know, it just felt more prominent in the '80s as far as what they were promoting. Yeah. Anyway, it was still a solid yeah. movie, but it just doesn't fall. It still it doesn't. It, 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 doesn't it just doesn't it's, fall enough to. It's 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 pretty high in the ranks right now. I mean, for I know, but not not to be above uh, the remake. But right. anyhow, let's go back right. through. Let, okay, so that's go. our next one. All right, so now we're down to um, the original versus. Uh, well, I, don't, I almost. Don't, I don't want to go versus yet with it. I just want to go like, what's the next worst? You know. Okay. So, um. I mean, because we're gonna. All right, well, let me look at it and uh, let me see. Uh, well, just name. Okay, it. I have to. Friday the original. Hmm. Um. Part two. Uh, um, final chapter. Oh, no, go two well, at a time. Let me, let me do it this way. Final chapter's better than... The final chapter's final one of the cha- best fucking Final Jason chapter's better time. than part one and part two. Agree? It's very exquisite. Agree? Ooh. It's better than part one and part two. I don't know, man. 
final chapter for me. Because I'm, I'm putting that's my, a definite I'm, for me. I, I'm, I know. I, 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 I want to be there with you, but I'm, I'm trying to get there. I'm swimming to the shore, but I might run out of I breath. know it's hard, but you don't have to show it to me. It's better, right? You agree? I mean, we're in agreement there. I, 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 final chapter is better than part one and part two. What are you doing, Christopher? Just Walker? say it. Just say it with your mouth. <laughs> take, take. Uh, come on. It's yeah, good. All it's right, all right, okay. I'm gonna go final chapter. All right, yeah, okay. All right, so final chapter's out for right now. Um, Jason lives for me better than part one and part two. It's it's better than both of those for me. I put it above. Okay, both but anyways. you got you got to remember now. I now know, you're now you're going deep. Now you're going deep. It's getting dark. You're getting here. really so dark. Take off you're taking Don't back. Take off you're taking clothes. you're taking backhead out of it, and you're taking Pamela out of it. I know, but you got to get fucking real right now. Okay, get fucking real because Jason Lives is an amazing movie. It's better than both of those. I don't know, man. It is to me. Tell me it's not. Is I mean, tell me it's not. The first one has an actual story. Like I know. It, I mean, it's I know. got and it's it, it was, you know, we all know that Pamela was the killer. But if you had never seen it before, I know. It's, the it's fact that it's fucking crazy, it, it, you give it credence because it, it was what started the whole thing. But for me, if dude Jason lives is better. It's 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 the Shaun of the Dead of the Friday the Thirteenth franchise. It's no. the truth. Jason lives is the Shaun of the Dead of the Friday Thirteenth franchise for me. I, I I enjoy it heads and tails above the original and part two. I actually like Jason. Tell me you disagree. I actually like Jason Lives a more fun chapter. Okay, well we're not going there yet, Jay. I know, but I, I do. I'm asking you okay. about part one. Oh, and part yeah, two. yeah, fuck it. All right, so so we're, the original and part two are still in play here. Um, now put the original and part two versus New Blood, and I think now we have a clear understanding of what the worst movie. No, is you're right going to be your understanding. Let me ask you this, Jay. I like New Blood, bitch. I, I I like New Blood for certain things. Let me ask you this though: New Blood as a whole versus the original. Which one do you take? I don't fucking like you. Right <laughs> this is true. We got to do it. I'm sorry. The original Friday Thirteenth versus yeah because the new blood yeah but you're also pick one man oh fuck this you have to it's 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 like it, that hey I'm Thunderlips I'm fucking Hulk Hogan from Rocky Three the name of the that's game that's the name of the game well pick one the original Friday Thirteenth or the new blood telekinesis. Buttfuck City. I like that Buttfuck City. <laughs> I know you do, no, but I'm asking, about, mouth, I'm asking about movies, whore. though. All right. Um, fuck. Because I can say what I had a good time watching, but I can say what's a better movie. That's, that's what I'm asking. What's the better movie? I that's, have to go with the first one. Okay. I, I The original. I, Even though I had I a agree. better time watching I New agree. Blood. Uh, no, I agree with you. Okay. It was funner, but... I had a better time. I just had a more of a fun time watching it. Maybe because the new blood was set solely in the eighties and it just felt more in my timeline. Yeah. But I had a, okay. But but if you never seen either movie and you watch them back to back, but uh, you're putting final chapter. In the Jason original lives. would be he- heads and tails above. So so right now our worst movie is new no, blood. We haven't got. Uh, we're remake. not there. I know. Okay. New blood versus the remake. What do you think? Shut the fuck up. I, it's it's it's. I'm gonna go with new blood. It's the worst. As the worst? I don't know. Answer Wait, me, bitch. Give me a goddamn minute. <laughs> give me a hot minute. Uh, Jason, uh, okay, so Friday the 13th, uh, so let's think the about New Blood we got, versus, versus Friday the 13th. Okay, three so we got, we got X-Men versus Jason, or we got fucking I Live Off the Land and Eat Tobacco and I'll Kill You if you come on my land. What's a better movie? Remake. I feel like I got fucking beat up and like I've been coerced. It's rough. It's rough. No, I, I gotta say, I gotta say the remake. I gotta say the remake, man. Because it's here, worse or no, better? It's better. Because look, if you're trying to reinvent Jason and you're doing everything you can after Manhattan, after it goes to hell, after Freddy versus Jason, and you have to come up with a fresh idea and put okay. it on the scene. I, I mean your tits are so juicy, bro. I can't I mean, look, I'm just trying to say that I fucking love New Blood. It's one of my guilty pleasures. I love it. But New Blood stacking against the rest that we have, yeah. I gotta say New Blood's worse. I'm gonna say dude. Because I, New I, Blood I, has besides the telekinetic it's the only it's the only one with, with supernatural powers. I know. Besides that, the, the, the dad coming up without being without rotting. I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you have this one because honest to God I don't know. Like I you said it first because I, I maybe I maybe I maybe I pulled your strings that way. But you said it first. Honestly, uh, the new blood versus You can pull my strings. Ver, the new blood versus the remake <laughs> is is a really hard question for me because there's a lot I don't like about the remake. Um 
New Blood could have been a great entry in the franchise because it's got Jason with the weed whacker. He's got amazing tools to kill people with. And he looks fucking badass. Yeah, he looks great. It's the best he's looked in the whole franchise. Uh, fuck yeah, for he sure. amazing. And he has the best tools he's had. He's got the weed whacker. He's got crazy stuff going on. The problem with New Blood was the MPAA fucked it over so much that you, they it, it's it's almost like a tie-in between the original and, um, and final chapter because it, it's got great ideas for kills. It's got a cool story to it. It's got character versus Jason but at the end of the day you don't see any of the kills all the kills are first person third person whatever you don't get to see them I love the the, the the whole the ending of that movie the last 20 minutes of New Blood is so fucking fantastic dude it's so action packed and fun and just bat shit but you know what it's it's a Nightmare on Elm Street rip off it, that's the fucking truth well, every time is- she uses her goddamn weapons and her powers it's 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 Nightmare on Elm Street music. It's all this crazy shit like that. I don't know. You go Nightmare on Elm Street. I don't. I never heard Nightmare on Elm Street. I just, every time she used the powers, I heard that soundtrack. I mean, I not. I didn't hear that, but I heard. So, I heard some Jean Grey shit, and I heard some X Men shit. Well, you saw some X Men, but shit. Charles Scully. I liked it because the fact that Jason had an opponent worthy of him. I would, and it was just. It was cool. It was cool and funny to me. And I know they didn't mean for it to be, but the fact that Jason was having such a hard time trying to kill this bitch, and you could just see it in his face when they took his mask off. He's like, God damn it. What the fuck do I have to do? I mean, it, was just, it looked funny to me the way that it was shot. And maybe it wasn't on purpose. And if, Honestly, they, had, if they had kind of explored the idea that Jason was... <laughs> I'm frustrated. Like, I'm trying to kill you, and you're just making it really hard because you have these telekinetic powers. Now, and then your daddy comes back from the grave and pulls me under the fucking water without being rotted. And I know there's a subscriber out there. or that crushed or, it, dude. Yeah, that and he did. crushed that movie. He crushed it, but I don't care. The fact is, I don't care. that I'm only caring about what was shown on film, and I don't care about a backstory that came out later on that said why he looked like that. I want to show what they did on film. And if I was a filmmaker, the last thing I'm thinking that if somebody's been on the bottom of a lake for fucking the last 10 years isn't going to have some rot on him, you are fucking What's delusional. What's the fact that he's there to begin with? It's the you, sound like, you sound like dude, that dude from Mad TV. He's first, like, let me do it. The first three goddamn Stewart. movies, their problem was they, they, they wanted so badly to capitalize off the jump scare of the first movie that they fucked up the endings. The Friday the 13th franchise, as far as Slasher goes, has the worst endings of any of these yeah, fucking movies. Bad. There's no doubt about it. And as much as there was to love about the new blood, at the very end, when her dad just pops back up as a sham-ass way of fucking trying to tie it to the original or whatever that last jump scare it was a fucking joke well, they, it was horrible they now, tried to make him heroic yeah, now and we'll, that end that, well the yeah. ending because every time garbage. the ending before that was Jason pulling it was an evil ending it so was this was the good ending jumping out of you, fucking you, water in Mass Effect you took the left side you were a paragon so you had the good ending listen so. uh, it, it, it's that movie against the movie we haven't even talked about really which is it, it, it's that versus the, the, the reboot which the reboot I didn't love the way Jason looked. I know you did. They tried to tie I like it, Jason a lot. They tried to tie it back to, to Jason living off the land and being this fucking, you know, whatever. They, they went back to Baghead, old Baghead Jason. Old Baghead. And they even showed him for a little bit. The, opening, the Baghead on that The one opening good, to the fucking reboot was bomb ass as fuck, dude. Yeah, it was. They show you this this group of people that you think the whole movie's going to be about, and then they fuck you over and put the, put the old Baghead over your head, and they kill them all off. What a badass opening. But ultimately, well, the opening was- it was too fucking Michael Bay, Michael Bay, Platinum Dunes, Sheen. Well, he was fucking, producer, and and it wasn't that natural Jason feel. Avenge, at first, it was it was rock and roll, fucking crazy badass. We're gonna shock the shit out of you, and we don't give a fuck. There's tits everywhere. There's killing. It's everything you wanted. Uh, but eventually, the fucking Michael Bay isms and the sheen and the gloss of that fucking movie took it over, and it didn't feel like what you thought it well, was gonna be. I felt like. Um I liked it better than New Blood, but only because there were moments yep. that, that Jason was so badass. Like when when he did show up, and he did his fucking thing when he was on the clock. Yeah, and and he was doing his thing. He looked fucking awesome, and those kills were some some of the kills were really fucking good. And the fact that Jason, they didn't show him to be just a dumbass wandering through the woods. Like that one dude, he threw an axe in his back and tried to bait the people out of the house to yeah. come rescue him. There were other moments like that. He had traps. They showed that he had an underground secret bunker that no like that. girls were allowed, and it was a secret He-Man club. And, and, and the fact but that he I, kept that girl hostage, but, I did not enjoy that at all. No, I didn't like that part. That part, I'm, again, I'm just going with the parts I like, though. Yeah. I like the fact that 
we always, you know, and, and Jason, and it's the same argument. Jason is supernatural to me, and so is Michael Myers. But in this one, they showcased him to be more human, like Rob Zombie did with the uh, remake of Halloween. And you were always like, well, how does he bounce up from, you know, place to place so quickly? Well, he had these fucking tunnels built underneath Crystal Lake where he could just, you know, travel through and bounce up. I thought that was pretty inventive, trying to explain... Like if you're trying to explain a supernatural, supposed supernatural being being human, right. that was a good idea. Now him capturing the girl and keeping her because he looked like his mother. I mean, <laughs> you need some therapy, my dude. I mean, you need therapy. But I would say the fact that they have Jason, though, biggest fuck, biggest life, going up there using techniques such as, um, like I said, throwing the axe, you know, the axe to that guy's back, you know, cat calling people out. Um, Stopping that girl from yelling and covering her mouth, not killing her right away because he's not going to want that bitch to scream. But doing yeah. certain things like that really set it apart. And the fact that... Um, That's the sound of a cold middle light. Oh, you want it now. And after that, um, you know, they didn't... At least they didn't go stupid with it and make, you know, you know Jason's mask coming off and him yeah. start crying or... Right. I just want my mama. All right. All and, right. and, you know, at the, right. right. at the very beginning of that movie, at the very beginning, and you mentioned the very beginning of this movie... The when you see you know it was cool strobe effect with the you know Pamela Voorhees being yeah. beheaded and then you see yeah. Jason in the woods because a lot of people have speculated was Jason alive after Friday the Thirteenth Part One we get to Part Two but we never saw it and he yeah. did watch his mother get beheaded yeah. I just thought they did a really good job I don't want to go too 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 into the reboot because we haven't technically reviewed that on the channel yet we have that coming up True. in the coming days so True that. so ultimately which movie do you like better do you like the remake, or do you like the new blood? Which one's better? I'm gonna let you decide because I'm torn, and you seem to be a bit more passionate. I would say it's your choice. Based on what I had more fun, douchebag's choice. Shut Come the on. fuck up. Give it to me. No. What's it gonna be, asshole? Show me. I'm gonna give you a hit me. Good goddamn bottle in the butt. I will go with what I had more, uh, you know, fun watching, which has to be. Dun, 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 new blood. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh, you switched up at the I last did. second. Okay. I had more fun All watching right. New Blood. So just because next... I was more involved in the 80s I film. get you. I get you. The next worst film, which at this point we're getting to the next best film. Right. We're getting up in the... the, the oh, those goddamn enchiladas. Oh. We're getting up. So next next worst film the is going to be the reboot. The reboot. And right behind that, we're going with... New Blood. Uh, the New Blood. Which I was getting through. The or a uh, new blood. It's, it's the. It's the new blood. Ultimately. Because you have to make sure it's specific. Right. You can't just say a new blood. Because right. any motherfucker can come up there and say I'm better than Jason. All right. So we're getting we're getting down to that goddamn nitty gritty. Okay. Now this is going to get hard. Uh, or let's, easy. Let's just take a break. No, we're, we just did one. Uh, let's just, we got to get. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's go. All right. We get. Let's power through. You're okay. Be all so. Right. All right. So. Um, Squeeze your wiener. You're going to be okay. I just did. It hurt. Uh, okay. So. All right. So the next. Movies that we're gonna have to rank is right. Friday the Thirteenth original, Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, and Part Two. <sighs> Between those two, oh my God, which is better? I I was gonna okay. And what, going, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm going because I know where I'm going. I'm uh, already there. I'm waiting. I'm I like waiting. Part Two better, man. I do too. Okay, I, I like old Baghead like, better, baby. I like part two. Baghead's for the fucking win. Yeah, and part one is great. And, and this is, this is. let me just, really briefly, uh, let me just throw a nod out to part one and why part one is so great. A, it's the origination of the franchise. Yeah. B, it's weird as fuck because the guy who directed it, Sean Cunningham, came out and was like, I was doing softcore porns and, and horror Good was... Good for you. Why don't you stick with that? Horror was popular <laughs> and I needed to do something to make some money. So I made this thing as a fucking goof and it took off. And if it was A goof? Obviously, obviously. If it, it if it weren't for the original Friday the 13th, we wouldn't have any of this great Jason-ness. But there was no Jason mask. There no. was no Jason. We all know it was his mom. And where this movie shines, where the original was so great, is that it was an amazing whodunit. You never saw the killer's face. You didn't know who was doing it. It was a total mystery, and it was scary because of that. But at the end of the day, for me, and we talked about this in the review, I was disappointed that it turned out to be Pamela Voorhees. I know that's a classic thing, and people loved it. But for me, when you look at the kills that happened before she was announced as the killer there's no fucking way in hell well, that there's no fucking way in hell that Pamela Voorhees could have made those kills happen and to me that made it unrealistic but still a great fucking classic movie and I give muchos respect to it but goddamn part two old baghead you get full on Jason yeah, even, even uh, though we didn't have the mask you still had full on Jason and that was just way more entertaining scary with yeah. better kills and then oh, the, I can't help it I like it better the original one will always be 
The original one. The original one. And you can't get away from fucking Kellogg's breakfast cereal. It's the sweet one. You try to do your best. <laughs> you try to do your best sweet one. But you can't get away from it's it. It's the sweet one. It makes you feel good at night. And uh, it, it is, it's what started it all. And again, I can't put my myself in the mindset of the people that went and seen Friday the 13th, the original. But if I could, if I was like, okay, I was a guy just going to watch this movie in the 70s. And I saw that Pamela Voorhees is underrated as a all, mystery. All this fucking yeah, I would say it was a good Hitchcockian. It was kind underrated of tale. as a mystery. Yeah, it's film, not. I'm not sure. saying. I am definitely not saying that it's on the same level of Alfred Hitchcock at all. Like not even on the same level. But the fact that it was a, it was such a shocker to find out that she was the one because she did such a great job when it's revealed at the very end of it, though, right? It's revealed at the very end of the movie that she's the killer. But she's do she's doing such a great job showcasing that she's still innocent, right? And she shows up and she's like, "Oh, it'll be okay now." And then she freaks the fuck out because she's she's snorting too many candy sticks. And then she's saying, "You let my boy drown," and, you, and that shit was scary to me. I was like, <laughs> "I didn't do shit," but I felt I felt the fear from that girl when she's in the middle of this cabin and all her friends are fucking dead, and she thinks this girl might be the savior, this old lady, and then she starts saying, you let my fucking boy drown, and she's like, I didn't even know your kid, and then she starts stalking her, and then all the other shit gets revealed. The problem with it is, is that she did do some supernatural, and I say this quote unquote, supernatural things, I think, from for a lady her age and, and, and what they were portraying. Now, you disagreed with me when I said that. No, I'm not disagreeing. I'm saying... Talking about it now, thinking about it, she did do some things, there. and maybe. Well, why don't you just fucking put out that you have a bubble <laughs> that you want? Fun? You, 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 you chalked it up to mothers who care about their children's super strength. No, like and when I, a mother I, lifts up a car to I, save her baby, and I still do believe that in some way because she. No, it's not. It's not just the fact that she was a mother that watched her kid get drowned. That she has a psychotic strength. Maybe it's also the fact that she is psychotic, and I don't know. I mean, I've heard. That people that are psycho that are truly into them, their their psychoticness, are fucking super strong. Like they got like that fucking hardcore shit. You better not fuck with me, and I don't even have to go to the gym. But beyond that, we look. It's still a classic movie, no doubt about it. Still gonna always be a classic movie. But would I fucking go to Friday the Thirteenth Part One because I know the story now? Probably not, man. And I'm sorry to say that because I know there's a lot of fans about Friday the Thirteenth Part One, but I would probably skip to Part Two. Because when you get into part two, well, not skip it. You gotta watch it. Well, you gotta you're gonna watch. I'm it. saying if you've seen the whole right. thing. I'm, no, I'm just saying if you had to pick one, because you're gonna watch them both. You can't just watch one. You gotta watch. I can watch part. Two. I can't do it. Yeah, I gotta watch. I, well, I'm section. just saying. But if, when you get into part two, though, you get old backhead. And when you get to old backhead, backhead was just fucking intense, man. Dude. It's just more and it was intense. You you know what you're looking at? It's fucking batshit crazy. That there's a lot more kills. That, I don't know if there's a lot more kills or not, but there's I, there's something more intriguing about it. Knowing who the killer is, seeing the killer, uh, you see where he lives, you see what's going on there. Uh, for Does me, he shop just, in Oshkosh, Magosh, or where? <laughs> part two is just and and again, you said it best, brother. Um, yeah. You said it best. If you're going into it from the, if you saw this in the theater from the beginning, from Friday the Thirteenth, you might feel differently. But going back and watching them, part two is just more entertaining because 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 it's all baghead. You only get all baghead once, and it's Jason. It's full on fucking Jason, and he's killing people. The wheelchair kill. Oh, that was oh, great. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, even though it was it's stupid, just, it's just, but it was still good. They're so close and they're so much alike. But I just, if I had to pick one, man, I agree with you. I'm going. And part I want to say also, there was a little bit. There was there was just moments of it that felt more um, careful about how they filmed it because I, I don't like her that much but the, the counselor that was introduced um, in the in the second one she's a child psychologist right and she talks about that quite often even when they go out and get drunk and he's like are you fucking drunk you know her boyfriend is like can you please stop talking about this and she's like no they actually use that towards the end of the film when she puts the sweater on which has become iconic a lot. Even in the video game now, Friday the Thirteenth, they, they you can actually get the sweater and yeah. and do the same thing. She talks to Jason and gets Jason to stop, and, you know, for him to die. Stop. Now I want to say also, and I, I we didn't mention this. I want to go really quick, really quick back to the first one, back to the future part one. Um, 
It's got one of the best endings. I mean, it could have ended the series that way. That's yeah. one of the greatest jump scares of all time with Jason coming out of the oh, water. And also the, and Tom, gra- the, Tom, the Tom Savini kills in the yeah, original. Yeah, right. I mean, and fuck. Tom Savini is amazing. Yeah. And I want to talk about that really fast because I know that people will call us out and say that, well, you didn't even mention that. No, it is one of, without a doubt, so iconic with him rising out of the water and pulling her down and Tom Savini having those makeup effects. Man, that fucking movie, if that had ended... And there was never another Friday the Thirteenth. It would have still been stellar. It would have still been and remembered. Again, I go back to the fact, the unpopular opinion that I don't like the Jason pops out of the water at the end of the original. I well, they were just copying what they did with the first one at that point. No, I'm talking about the original. I, I, I didn't like it. In the I thought it was cool yeah. if they were going to end the series there. If that was going to be the last thing, and you'll never know. Yeah. Like if they were never going to have a follow up on it ever. You you just like well was he real would, was he a fo- was the whole thing a dream I don't know I'd probably like it even less man I, I don't it know just I would tie I, in I get deep with that shit it fucks up so the part two though too much. but dream sequence blah look, blah blah part you know? two he had the Oshkosh Magosh and he had the bag head yeah. he had an axe I just he, like it better I, yeah, I you it, know what? It, was a, it was a solid it movie. may be a wrong opinion like I just like part two I better too. I, I did too I, I just, I just I had like more fun watching it and that's what we're doing here so all right man like so here's the deep ones this is the last two we got two slots left man this shit's this shit's deep um i know where i'm going in my heart and my mind and my soul um um chumba wumba he drinks a whiskey drink he, he drinks, drinks a vodka, vodka drink. drink he drinks a cider drink he drinks the songs that remind him of the good times he drinks songs that remind him of the bad times we both got that wrong jason lives <laughs> no we didn't or yeah we did or final chapter i don't want to do this one i, I quit final chapter or jason lives. okay so what, what is and what, we won't even call it the worst what's the best but, film in the friday oh, the 13th oh, motherfucking franchise because we're down to two jason lives or final chapter man oh no i'm gonna tell you let me can i can i, can I, can I call this one can you get a cockle that's a bold strategy cotton um <laughs> but i'm it? gonna say it dude i i, I know where final I'm going. chapter is the greatest jason that's where i'm going that's existed. where i'm going yes. that's where i'm going that's where i'm going motherfucker. And it's, and it's close it's close because jason lives uh, you, you, I, you hate when i say this you you hate it when i say what? this jason lives is the Shaun of the dead of the friday the I don't 13th like that. franchise it's great it's tongue-in-cheek it's funny it's smart it's witty it brings jason to the supernatural yeah. forefront and he looked it does fucking good he fucking shit. he was stacked up like it, fucking it batman a special goddamn edition like in this entire fucking franchise that was it's a, so cool and weird yeah. and out there and fun and different and smart and it, you know what it's one of the only really smart just like just the jokes in it, the way the the underhanded shit when he's walking into the campsite and you see like integrity, teamwork, and all that shit. Yeah, it's so great. It's such a classic thing. There and was the so, kills. Yeah, the there, smiley face tree kill. There were so many subtle moments in that God movie damn. that really made you go, "Damn, these guys really are fucking having a good time making this film, and they're doing little nods at things and poking fun at things." It's just so fucking during the comedic. Time. And we have at the very beginning one of the coolest. What do you think I am, a big fart head? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we yeah. have. He's like, it's, it sounds like you're having a good time back there. Need some help? Uh, in the RV, the RV kill. But dude, Jason looked like fucking Batman, dude. Like, I, you know, you can say what you want about Batman Forever with the nipples, but he was stacked up, dude. Yeah. Like he put the utility belt. He had his own utility belt. Yeah. He had fucking knives. He had a harpoon gun. He had some cool gadgets that he was gonna fuck you up with. And I had a dude like, goddamn, it was so fun to watch him do what he was doing. And the fact that he like rips that guy's arm off and he's holding a machete and he's looking at it. Yeah. There were so many cool moments to go back and look at. And even the trailer kill when yeah. he shoved her face through the RV and that dude's yeah. like, I'm having such a great time. But it, it, you know, Alice Cooper. But it still felt. Yeah, exactly. Alice Cooper. It felt 80s, and it felt cool slasher 80. And Tommy was there. I mean, Tommy was back. This was the final and, Tommy story. And this story. was fun. Like, I don't have a bunch of baggage, and I don't like to, you know, show off my 12-pack and, and beat the shit out of random people. He didn't beat Tommy. the shit. That, this was fun. That guy shouldn't have This was past. Ken Barbie doll, Tommy Jarvis. It was just a fun fucking out-there movie. I know. And, you know, I know I know you guys. I know how some of you guys are going to be. You're going you're gonna to fucking hate everything we're saying about it. You're going to say this. there is mm. no way. No, I'm not everybody. But there is going to be a lot that say there's no way this is second to the best of the, the Friday series. But come on, guys. Think about it. When you really go back and watch. If you, if you binged watch Friday the 13th. What one movie would stand out as different and and so surreal and so out there? The beginning of the fucking movie has a James Bond montage where he walks through and he goes boom, and, you know, with his fucking axe. And it looks like James well, Bond. Well, this is the second best. I mean, I know. Yeah. Sec- I'm just saying, yeah. as yeah. the second best though. Yeah. You know, there's gonna be like no that, that movie. That movie was Roger Moore James Bond. No, it's not. Here's, that movie is exactly what 
when you hit the wall and you don't know what to do and you're like, who are you going to call? You're going to call Ghostbusters. It's you a, just have a good time. It's a fucking fantastic film, man. And it's jokey and it's t- tongue in cheek. And what makes it great almost keeps it out of the number one numero uno slot. It's and Corey and that's, that's, that's because it's not, it's not even Corey Feldman, but the reason, the reason that the best Friday the 13th movie to me of all time is the final chapter. Well, to us, because we both is agree. because the final chapter, it, it, it was the one mix that had everything. All right. It, it, it had some scares in it. It had some great kills in it. It had serious Jason in it. It had comedy in it. It had the best cast. It had members that you cared about in it. It was like it. It was just. It was little pieces of the entire franchise come together as a whole to just make when you take a step back and look at it the best moment of this entire franchise. I don't think that you could have ever picked ever. Um, a Friday the 13th to better represent the 80s than that film. And I know we've mentioned the 80s quite a few times, but that one was the quintessential, man. That was where it was just... It was so different from the way that today's horror movies are shot. And you had people like Corey Feldman that was really pushing the way. And, and it felt like we borrowed a motherfucker from the Goonies to take on Jason. I mean, I know the Goonies... Had, Goonies I know, it was, it was before Goonies, but this motherfucker was already Ralph Mouth. And he yeah. was already making his masks. And it, you, it just he felt like... He was playing Atari. He, he was playing... He was like, Mom, I can't go to my room yet because I haven't beat my fucking Commodore 64 fucking Tetris yet. And I was like, God damn, I wish I was your friend. That'd be weird because I'm 33 and I don't want to be your friend. But if I was your <laughs> age, I'd be your friend. But it just... You know, and you had this party going on, you know, next door and people fucking dancing. Crispin to, fucking to Simon and Garfunkel. Crispin and Glo- Glover were doing his drunk dance. I love Teddy. Trying to get a piss. Yeah. You're a dead fuck. So I'm, that's what I was trying to talk to you about. You I don't want to be computer. a dead fuck. Why don't you put that in your computer? I'm a dead fuck. And just Crispin Glover saying it when they were on their car, I was like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> but, you know, dude, there were so many cool elements of this film. Not just the fact that... Jason has some cool death scenes in this. Not just the fact that Corey Feldman exists in this movie. That he had a good time. You could tell that he had he was enjoying it. Yeah, and, he wanted to hang out. And with yeah, else. and it, and he really looked like he was, you know, really gelling the movie together. It was the fact that it, I think to me it was it was a time capsule. It captured for just that moment what it was like in the eighties in that mid eighties for you know college age kids or high school age kids going up to a cabin and having a good time, listening to their Walkmans and wanting to fucking smoke pot and drink beer, and that's what you got to do, and maybe find an old porno tape on a reel-to-reel but, and watch it. But mixed into everything you just said, it had that. It, it nailed that and it had it, yeah. right? Well, Crispin Glover, the whole cast, it had that. What makes it special is you take this... That you take this little piece of serious horror movie classic lore with... Because you got the party kids, right? Yeah. You have the party kids, and it's fantastic. And it's it's Chris, Crispin Glover and the whole crew, and they're awesome, and they're actually likable characters. Where's one Marty of the, McFly? One of the one of the bad reviews for the film says it, this movie takes great pains to make you love its characters, and it's a shame because all you have left to do is watch them die. Well, and you know he, that's he, the thing. that guy's mother took great pains to he, have him. So. What makes this movie so special is the mix between that your party crew that he kills. And serious horror movie cast, which is the sister, which is uh, Corey Feldman, which is the, the the hunter guy, which is the mom. You you took the greatest, like funnest. I care about them, but they're also party people there to get killed. Crew, the party crew, and you mixed them with a serious family that felt almost like they, they were straight out of Halloween. Right, yeah. And and, and and you've got you've got this fun yet serious yet just it's. To me, it's just the quintessential Jason movie. It man. is. I mean, to me, it is too. I mean, if I, if I was ever going to recommend a movie to somebody and say, and they ask me, well, what would you recommend to me off Friday the 13th that would really get me into the character of Jason? I would recommend this movie right away. And I will tell you why. I think, again, you mentioned it captures all the elements of what Jason and what makes Jason. You got these dumbass kids that go to his camp. You invade my shit, bitch, and I'm going to kill you. And that's what Jason. Jason's essentially a vengeful ghost we all know this but it's got just enough hints of um i don't know i I don't even i don't even know what i want to call this but camaraderie i guess and sentiment uh, sentimentality amongst the crew and nostalgia nostalgia and the cast it just felt like a gelled movie that represented all what jason is had it all the friday third it really did it was it was a fruitcake that was fucking made with love and everybody hates fucking fruitcake at christmas because it makes you feel like you weren't giving a shit about but if you handmade that bitch it means a lot but um look man and i love the guy that played jason i thought he was great too 
because he was so intimidating and he was so stalking. But I loved, I loved the fact that they get to the point in the movie at some point that Jason is outwitted kind of and, and kind of put down by a kid. And it was really more like throwback to, you know, David versus Goliath or a, a kid versus the monster, you know, in the closet or a kid that versus the monster under the bed. And that's what Corey Feldman represented to me. And I think a lot of people that were growing up in the 80s could relate to Corey Feldman in that way. Just a kid that liked playing video games, that was really creative, that maybe was a little different because he made fucking mask. Fuck you, mom. You don't know what I'm going to do later on in my life. <laughs> and, and, he, and he has this thing about him, though, that's able to draw the audience in and be like, you know, you can relate to me because everybody was a little weird in their, in their youth. But it's, it, again, it's like, I'm taking on the monster. Dracula versus fucking his nemesis. And in this movie, it's all come together in that last moment. Yeah, with his whole die thing, they could have shortened that down. And the whole, you know, there there are things about it, like I get, that people are going to rail against, say, that was stupid. But I think the main point of it is, is that the monster exists. It's, it's a monster from our our old past, like a Universal Studio monster or something, versus a kid that's not going to fucking give up because adults would give up adults would fucking die they would just be like oh well, I, i'm not going to make it oh my god my tits are out i'm going to die in this boat but cory feldman being cory feldman is like no i'm gonna i'm gonna find a way out of this bitch and yeah. i'm fucking 10 years old yeah and i love the resourcefulness i love the fact that he didn't he got freaked out but and and he showed sentiment sentimental stuff to with his sister and stuff but he didn't he's like i got a job to do i got a booby trap shit i gotta make a mask I gotta shave my head, mm. and I'm not even using soap and water. I'm just fucking doing that raw. Here's what I, think. I loved it, man. I think I think for me, if I'm gonna go, if if you give me one Jason movie to watch before I die, I honestly think I'm gonna watch Jason Lives because I've seen them all. You mean and, the final and, chapter? No, no, no. I mean Jason. You can go lives. Jason Lives. I mean Jason Lives oh. for me because I've seen them all, and if I if I just want to, you know, forget all the island shit. Like if I just want to turn on a movie and just like it's it's December. Well, you gave me a fucking island. No, asshole. no. Listen to me. If it, if it's fucking December, you know, and I just want to I want to watch one goddamn Jason movie, and I just want to be entertained. I'm gonna throw on Jason Lives, and I'm gonna enjoy it. It's gonna have all that shit to me. But, but I, I could go with shut it. The fuck up. Oh. Shut the fuck. You're up. not ready. You're not done yet. Shh. Shut the fuck. Oh, I thought you were done sucking your dick. Do it more. Listen, if I but but if I was gonna tell someone else, what's what's one movie like? If someone came up to me like, I don't fuck fuck Jason Voorhees, fuck that son of a bitch. Before or after a, you fucking ran him over the car. I don't give a fuck about Jason Voorhees, and I'm and they're like, give me one movie to prove me wrong. I'd say you go and you watch the final chapter, and then you will know what's real. You know, I I, I, I think I, I just, say go watch the new it, blood. It, it, <laughs> you know, those movies are close for me. They're they're close one and two for me. But yeah, Final Chapter is the best. So well, so here's, I, well, let me let me go back what you were saying, motherfucker, because oh. you said Final Chapter versus Jason Lives, and you 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 changed it. No, you no, changed no, the no, game. no, 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 no. You no, said no. Jason Final Lives. Chapter is the greatest Jason movie to me. But I'm just saying you're, for me because I know I know I know Final Chapter. I know everything that happens. I, I'm, okay, I, okay, I'm okay, just okay, gonna okay. watch Jason Lives. But if I had to recommend one to someone who didn't know shit and only gave me one movie to watch, I'd say Final Chapter. I think Final Chapter's the best. For me, if I'm going to go back and watch just one, it's going to be Jason Lives. But again, I agree, the number one Friday well, 13 movie of all time is the I, Final Chapter. I think that, yeah, and you know what? Honestly, um, one movie that you know you have fun with watching, though, like that you have just... I, I had a blasty blast watching New Blood. I really did have a good time watching it just because... Again, the, all the 80s elements were there that I really enjoyed. But, dude, the fact that Corey Feldman was in the final chapter, and just because it felt like a Goonie-ish type, you know, versus Jason, and there were so many cool things going on in the background with it, mm -hmm. it's got to be the best. I mean, and that's, that. honestly, I would skip, if they were like, okay, I, you know, look, you got one movie to pick to watch your October movie with, with Friday the 13th. You, you don't get any others. I'd pick that one. Yeah. Just because you know Corey Feldman's fucking in it, and it's so it's so fucking eighties, man. I I know you guys are so sick of hearing that, but trust us. All if right. you get a chance, you can go watch the final chapter and tell us that it's not exactly. It doesn't make you want to put leopard pants on and shake your ass <laughs> on white snakes. Carl. So so. End of the day, what 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 is your all's list? Rank them below for us. I want to know what each one of you guys think. And here's the thing: I, I'm I'm sorry. I wanted to get all the reviews out before we did this list, but but the truth of the matter is, the first five movies in our list have all been reviewed already at this point. So mm. 
I don't feel too bad about it. We're gonna we're we're gonna review every movie. Those are coming in the coming days. But I, I just wanted to get this special little video out for Friday the thirteenth, and I hope that you guys enjoy the fuck out of your Friday the thirteenth. I hope you guys do something special. We're going to see the Menzingers. The You'll men fuck a lot of girls or guys, whatever you're doing on the Friday the thirteenth. Yeah, do it. We're going to see the Menzingers in Nashville to celebrate Friday the thirteenth. And if you haven't looked up the Menzingers, looked up look up the Menzingers. I don't want to be an asshole anymore. It their video literally stars Jason Voorhees. They're a fun ass punk band. It's going to be a blasty blast in Nashville, Tennessee for us, but we wanted to share this moment with you guys and to share Friday the 13th with you guys as well, and not just on our own like selfish cunts. We're and, selfish um, whores. So, so let's go through the list really quick one last time. Okay, so the worst, I, the, from, from worst to best. Jason goes to hell. Is the worst. Jason takes Manhattan. Jason, oh, no, we should go top to bottom. Let's go top, uh, top to bottom. Start. Okay, final chapter number one. Final chapter number one. Number two, Jason lives. Number three, old baghead. Friday the 13th. Part two, motherfucker. Number four. <laughs> the pass me my, pass me my dose of kiss. Number four, a surprising fourth place, the original Friday the 13th. Number five, the new blood. Yeah, I like it. Old telekinesis. I don't care. I like that shit. Number six, the reboot. Rebooty. Not bad for a reboot Not by a Michael Bay company coming in at number six. After that, likes. we're getting into the darkness. 3D. We got Jason 3D. Oh my god, it's that, got that its fucking merits. spear. Then we got a new beginning. That was a close call. That was that was that was yeah a new beginning because it wasn't really Jason. Jason X fun as shit, but god come damn, on. it was a softcore porn Skinamax. How much longer do I have to wait for this fucking roller coaster? Ryan? Jason takes Manhattan. Moments of he greatness. Take it, ultimate shit. And Jason goes to oh hell. Oh my which god! Is barely what the fucking Jason now. movie. That's that's our rating, guys. We love your goddamn faces forever, uh, and fucking always. And by the way, we mentioned this early on. If you guys have stuck with us this long, you guys are true fucking fans. I just want you guys to understand that we did put early on, early, early fucking on, a thousand years ago, that we were gonna do a Q and A. So on this video, just make sure you list your questions for us, and we are definitely gonna get back to you. And we definitely want to talk to you, and we definitely love you. And we definitely want to see you naked. I'm going to put my dick in. I'm going to put my dick in. Get off of me. I'm going to put my I dick can hear that shit. Sorry. I got, All right, I got so, carried away. We love your fucking faces forever and always, you guys. Comment down below. What are you guys doing this Friday the 13th? If you're not doing anything, then you'll be just like me every other the goddamn Friday Come 13th. to Nashville. Hang out with us. It's going to be Hang awesome. Hang out with so, us. We love your fucking faces. Thank you guys for... for everything we wouldn't sure. we wouldn't be shit without you and you know i want to say something really really fast um it's getting dark and late into the night it is light it is light we were, light, we were talking some serious shit earlier and and Ooh, you, you know you I, fucking put your arms together I, now I, we're gonna serious I, times. yeah jake can see it in my face i just want to <laughs> say one thing i want to say that we are totally 100 uh, percent unequivocally um strange in, in, in our lifestyles and the way that we are. Dr. Strange. And, and I feel like, I, feel, I want you guys to know this because I, I'm trying to picture how I would be on the other side of this if I watched our videos. And, and I feel like sometimes when when some people watch us, they look at us, and, and one of my favorite things about this channel is that people will watch our videos and be like, it feels like I'm hanging out with friends that I haven't hung out with in some time. Mm -hmm. You know, it feels like I was young again and I was hanging out with my friends. Good or, times. Or, or it feels like I, I have a bartender, you know, that's serving me drinks that I don't have in real life. I and I want, I want you guys to know that there is nothing lacking on your side of it that creates that. And what I mean by that is, <laughs> this, sounds, this sounds terrible, but Jay and I basically have each other. Like, we're just two dudes who became friends off a weird sort of set of circumstances like 20 years ago. And and it's not like we don't have this with a lot of people. Like, like we have each – like, you're the only fucking dude. I know. It's, like, it's just us. Jay's brother Cody is one of my best friends for life as well. And we all grew up together and we all love each other. And they're both brothers to me. And my life would be totally uh, unequivocally – just nothing like what it is if I didn't meet you guys. And I well, want thanks, you, man. I, and I want you guys to know, like, you guys literally crafted the person I am today. Like, a totally different person I was before I met you. And and for anybody that doesn't have a J in their life, I'm, I want I'm, I, I exist in all places. I, I want you to know that that a J in my life is all I have. Like, oh, you gonna make my dick hurt? 
It's the truth, man. You're all I got. Well, You're my best yeah. friend. And this isn't a constant party. We don't have a million friends. We're strange fucking people. Yeah, we are. I, I, I'm, at all, I'm all, like at work, in, in social I, situations. I'm, I, I'm fucking terrible. Have you ever done that before? Like, I mean, I know I have with Mike and what he's talking about. Uh, you know, we, we react to each other in the way that we've reacted. Like brothers, uh, you know, it's, it's no different. I mean, we can, we'll talk about, you know, fucking whatever and doing weird shit and just saying like, do you ever wanted to fuck a sheep? Like, you're like, <laughs> what? And, and you're like, yeah. I was like, well, maybe one yeah. day it'd be soft and we'll just say whatever. And we'll, you know, react off that. But in, in real life settings, you're like, wow, yeah. I can't say shit. Certain, I can't say certain yeah. things around people because they would be like, you're a fucking freak and I'm going to call somebody. I don't ever... But, you know, but I feel like what this community has done for us, uh, you know, not the fact... You know, Mike and I are always going to be best friends and we've been best friends for over 20 years, like he said, but it's it introduced us to so many other fucking weirdos and freaks out there that we fucking love, that you guys are awesome, that you guys get our sick, weird, twisted yeah. sense of humor... And you're not judging on it. You're like, I'm embracing it yeah. because I feel the same goddamn way when I'm fucking on the highway or I'm walking down you know, a school hallway or I'm going to work. I'm thinking like, I wonder what that bitch would look like with goat tits on her face like, or whatever it might be. I don't I mean, even know. That's a bit much. I know. I'm just saying whatever it may be that weirds it in your brain, <laughs> you can say on the comments and yeah. you'll be like, hey, hey. Everybody wants yeah. to figure out what goat tits look like. Because I I we don't judge nobody. We don't judge anybody go, that, you know, based on who they are or where they come from. Or We're basically a Backstreet Boys song at this go, point. But, I mean, you don't guys say are... That. Don't say that. Why? Backstreet? That's not true. Well, I mean, I'm just saying it does. It don't matter who you are, where you come you from. You such terrible taste in music. <laughs> I like that song. I hate your music choices. Anyway, but you guys are great, and we love you. Yeah, and that, that's the point. What I want what I want to get across here, and I should probably save this for a time when anybody's actually still listening, but I, what I, where I really want to get across here is that it, it was like a, it, it's a complete luck, weird life stroke that that jay and i even met or, or that that i even met your brother cody or that we ever became friends in the first place and yeah, it really is and and we're strange and we're weird and we don't get along with people the same way we do with anybody else in the world and i never want anybody to watch this channel and think that there's a party going out somewhere that they're not invited to because that's just not the case we're you just two dudes invited. we're just two guys who who happen to 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 run into each other's lives and and you guys have given a reason for us to, to extend that party. So right. every single one of you listening to this that is involved in it and you think that you're on the outside or maybe you're weird because you don't have a friend like this or, or you don't know anybody like you, we're just fucking lucky that we know each other in real life and every single goddamn one of you are included in this now. And you 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 have given us a reason to continue to be friends and hang out every day during the day because there's more people out there like us and we didn't know that until we did this channel. So every one of us is just as important to, to each and every one of us. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but I want you guys to know that this weird little fucking friendship that me and jay have it, it's continued by you guys and if you're listening right now you, you're included in it so a thousand be my fucking, fucking friend percent. without them you motherfucker no i'm just saying it'd be weirder and they give us a reason i know do, do they not give us a reason yeah, to hang I know. Out I, as grown men every day it doesn't mean it. And we still hang out, but no, it would be weird. But it, it would be weird. Yeah. I mean, we would be drinking Arnold Palmer's <laughs> and like hanging out, and talking just, about golf and I'm shit. Just, I'm just, but, yo, look, I, I, I don't want ever, I don't, I don't ever want someone to listen to this and and, and feel like shit because they don't have a J or they don't have a mic in their life because it's weird. It's we, our you, friendship but, is weird. Yeah, it's but, a strange l stroke of luck that we even exist and we even know each other because neither of us get along in regular life like we do with each other. Yeah, we do at all. We no, I'm, no, I'm saying like. Like when you talk to somebody, like, oh like, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm never yeah. myself unless you know. That that's what I'm saying. That's what that's. What, and I know a lot of you guys feel that way, and yeah. I want you to know that, like, I totally fucking get it. Well, here's the thing, man. I want you guys also to think that you know you don't have a Mike and Jay if you don't have one of those things. I'm, we're not fucking shit. We're not like anything special, I suppose. But if you don't have some guy or, or or some girl that you're hanging out with, your best bud that you can just fucking be yourself with and be you know let your guard down and just be who you are, you got us. If you if you fucking watch our videos and that's how you know how you fucking get out that that tension and 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 fucking say you know guys like those exist. Yeah, we fucking exist. And I'm just saying, to you guys, you're not alone. Guys like you. All of you guys, yeah, all of us are the unite same fucking. The seven. We're gonna unite the fucking millions. 
We're going to fucking take this bitch by storm. Because I know how you guys feel. I mean, some of you guys out there are, you know, I've read, you know, there are some letters that have come in. There's some comments that have come in that you guys have struggled. There are some guys out there that have, that have gone through some deep shit. They've gone through some dark turds in their fucking life. And, um, you know, they reach out to us. And we're fucking beyond honored for that. But it's only because of you guys that we're able to do that. And, and, and those that are listening that are maybe going through a bad patch that are that are fucking just, I don't know, depressed and thinking about like, well, it sucks because nobody's... Look, we're out there. Guys like us are out there and we're right here and we're fucking here for you and you'll find other people. I, my main thing is don't fucking say and sell out. Don't say I'm going to sell out and then sell out. Just be your fucking self and everything's going to get better. Like, you will get better. You will find other people that will fucking involve themselves with you in and, exactly what you want to talk about. And because I know, how you, how, I know exactly what the fuck you're talking about and yeah. how you think and how you feel. You're talking to a couple guys who've lost just about everything by just being themselves. Right. And, and, and you can. You can do that. And, and, but don't, don't sacrifice. If you, need, if you need any more proof than that, go back and watch. This is a perfect ending to this, actually. Um, go back and watch the Friday the 13th videos that we did almost... I don't know, four or five years ago, ago when we yeah. actually did them and, and look at our faces and, yeah, look, I mean, and, and, and look at like just on a pure visual aspect, look at us then and look at us now. We both look like completely different people and I'm not saying we've become better people or we become great or anything like I was that. A rough patch, I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm just saying that you, you look at our faces now and you look at our faces then and you can basically see that those two guys have been through some shit and we were just actually when we took a break a few minutes ago we were talking about this and I, I'll leave it on this note because I don't want to go too much further but um, it just so happens that when we started this channel to now we both went through the darkest most hardest shit that we've ever been through in our entire lives we both like just we just had a string of bad luck each of us did in our own separate ways and some things you guys have heard about and some things you'll never ever hear about yeah we don't want to bring from each of us but yeah the truth is is that from from those last friday the 13th videos to these friday the 13th videos if you think that we look different or we sound different it's because we went through fucking hell and we both did it was like it's it's almost like a it, like if it, it was, was like a, mo a fucking movie if yeah. it was a movie you'd be like this is bullshit that shit would never <laughs> no, happen happened, once man. we both went through some really fucked sometimes, up shit sometimes sometimes art reflects fucking life and man it, and it happened at the exact same time it for for jay it happened almost months after it happened to me and and we went through it together and we went through it with you guys and and from from a moment where there was a couple months where we didn't make a video to the moment to where uh, some of the stuff that you guys have heard about you guys have been there for us for every bit of it whether you know it or, or, or not and um uh we fucking we love the shit out of every single goddamn one of you so that's I, it yeah and uh what i want to say in closing with you sexy fuckers that makes me wet in my butt Ooh, i don't want to say that ah. I, I just want to say like honestly and, and in, in seriousness i don't i know um mike and i don't really go serious hardcore on this channel most of the time but i just want to say you guys Guys, um, and we mentioned this in the beginning of this in the video um, in the podcast that how much you guys have meant to us and you guys have really um, you guys have done a lot for us um, Mike and I there were moments in our lives that defined us in ways that could have been bad I mean we could have gone another way we could have we could have given in to the dock side Luke we could have been fucking assholes we could have you know, just basically just embraced all the other bullshit that everybody else does. Like, well, this is what you're going to be for the rest of your life. You just might as well just accept it and fuck everything else and, and just lived and, 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 and learned and died that way. And we didn't because you guys' comments, your guys' reactions to videos and stuff. And I just, I, I want to say how thankful I am that I'm even allowed to share these kind of moments with you. Mike and I love hanging out with each other anyway. I mean, we're best friends. I mean, that's what we do. But the fact that we can share this and be best friends with you guys too and, and, and have more friends involved in our lives means so much to us. I mean, you guys, some of you guys send us letters and talk about how much we've meant to you and how much we've impacted your lives and how much we've made you smile. You guys make us smile too. And you guys have impacted our lives more than you think. I mean, I know we're we're not fucking a hundred. I'm not even trying to talk like we're hundred thousand subscribers or or a million or or a fucking uber goddamn celebrity suck my wiener. We're talking about guys that are just fucking guys that 
we made this channel and we realized a community out there, a community of people that love horror movies, that love things that we love, that we've always grown up with all our lives, and that we are able to share this with you, that you exist. You've meant so much to us, and you know your comments and what you say. We've talked about this off camera. We'll, we'll you know, we'll go through the comment. We'll, we'll even go pull out our phones, like look at what this person said, or look what that person says, and we'll talk about it. I mean, you guys are not forgotten. None of you guys are. We read every comment. We, we, we fucking would love to know each and every one of you individually, but you know, unfortunately, we can't. But the fact that you guys are st you sticking around and watching us and supporting us, you are giving us just as much if more than what we're giving you and if we're helping you in any way man we're gonna keep fucking doing it for you for that reason i mean I, there are a lot of you guys that have sent letters and and you've said things in comments um i wish i could go out and give you guys a hug i i wish i, I could fucking know you and give you a bro hug or or a wham hug i don't know what the fuck that would be There'd be no wieners involved, I'm sure, but it would just be. It would be. They probably. They're probably some wieners, but it would be a good hug. And um, yeah. thanks. I mean, at the end of the day, just thanks for for not you know selling out and just being yourselves and and subscribing and and keeping this community, this wham community, really nice. I, uh, you know, there's a lot of communities that are going on in YouTube right now that are fucking toxic and they're mean. And, and people that are that are new, they come in and they try to be a part of the community. And the people that are like, you ain't a hardcore fan, motherfucker. And they just they, they just say the, the most terrible things to them. Without just, I, we just always wanted a community where it's like, everybody can have a voice. Everybody can say what they want to say and have an opinion about a horror movie and respond with respect. Mm. That's it. And but, we we don't try to do anything controversial on this uh, on this channel. We, we don't try. We don't want to do politics. We don't do religion. We just want people to come in, whoever the fuck you are, and have a good time. And that's it. And that's it. It's weird because, uh, being honest with you guys, if I go to work and stuff like that, and you know somebody asks me about what I do on the side or whatever, I don't tell anybody about this. Like I, I don't I don't tell anybody at the channel. It's not because I'm ashamed. Of, obviously, you guys or anything like that. Because it's, it's a fucking thirty thousand people, something to be proud of. But um, I, I literally. Don't tell people about this. And the truth of the matter is, is that when you guys see us um, on camera or on this podcast or whatever, this is absolutely the truest version of myself that exists. Right. And it's a version of myself I'm afraid to show the rest of the world. Like I'm awkward as fucking person. I'm awkward as fuck with anybody. It, it, it's a strange thing. Um, I'm more my more at myself making these videos and these podcasts. Than I am in real life, and and I just I, I want you guys to know that it, it it's a weird weird place that we live in with this channel, and it and it's and it's only and absolutely bare bottom bone. The only fucking reason this exists is because you guys are out there, and I never knew you were out there before until we got to this point with the channel. And let's see how many more people are out there, and and, and what we can do with it. Uh, but you guys, when I wake up in the in the morning and I have to go to work at a job that I fucking hate, my hope is always in this, and this is my lottery ticket. And I don't mean for money; I mean for the kind of life I want to live in total freedom doing what I love. It would be talking to you guys about movies every single day. Yep. That's so it. we're going to end the fucking podcast yep. in that great sec way. Greatness. I said sex way. I should have said sex way, but it was, it was a good time. Sex that was our ranking of Friday the 13th. We also gave you some good love. We loved Did, love. Didn't mean to. That wasn't planned. Yeah. It that was whole thing that, was really serious. That actually was. Did we drink some, some Hennessy? We should have. I get a little sexual. I should have got Hennessy. Got sexual and emotional. But thank you guys for joining us. You fucking. I'm gonna go with 15 people. This, this was These basically 15 people. You know what? Ultimately, this was our thank you for 30. Yeah, pretty much. And, uh, We're gonna do a Q and A, but this, &A this was coming. it. This yeah. was this was unintentionally it. And and what better wham way to fucking do it than on accident? This is our thank you guys for for 30,000 of you guys going strong, even though probably so, 12. Love 20, you, motherfuckers. 24,000 of you don't watch. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> And keep it up. Keep it up all the way, wham, in your butts. If for some reason you're new and still here, click that subscribe button and get some motherfucking goddamn. God damn. God damn. God damn, wham up in here. Don't go that deep, Fred. Jesus Christ, they're new. <laughs> I can't find the... Where's the clicker button? Oh. the movie.
Sweet.